Hi, we are officially live, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Uh, hi, welcome. Uh, the, what you just saw was our intro, and it kind of malfunctioned for a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm going to give you a peek behind the, the scenes, uh, everybody. A peek behind the scenes. Uh, it went on a loop, and we decided, you know, we're going to cut it. But everybody in the chat, hello. Welcome to our technically second live. Uh, we went live over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Over a year ago. Uh, so we're going to try to pay attention to the chat. We're going to chill out. We have our drinks. Yes, we do. For today, a... And this is a bunch of tequila, just so you know. <laughs> YouTube, don't flag me. There's a bunch of tequila in here. And thank you all for the birthday wishes. Uh, now, we're trying to figure out our lighting a little bit because we're looking a little blue. Uh, let me just... There we go. A little, less, a little less blue here. Now, let's read a little bit in the comments. Laurent, the classic cups... Julia Bonavita, ooh, Ghostface. I know these mm -hmm. were the AMC Ghostface cups that came out that that uh, week of Scream Six. So, and Tashima says, "I would never guess Cody is a Gemini." Well, I I am. I am a Gemini. <laughs> Sergio will tell you I am one hundred percent a Gemini. I call him Two Face all the goddamn time, and he takes quite offense to that. I do. <laughs> I need to take a drink. Yeah, take a swig, birthday boy. How old are you? Old enough not to tell anymore. <laughs> Cody is officially 31. Mm -hmm. 31. And on this channel, we do reveal our ages. 
We have Loren. Can't wait for Cody getting jump scared in studio <laughs> laughing. Oh, oh my gosh. God. See, you guys already know us. I, we are lit- legit. I love the jump scares. I hate, hate the it's jump scares. It's my least favorite thing about horror. <laughs> I can like be haunted by the kind of horror that like creeps and you like can't stop thinking about. And I'll like deal with it. But the jump scares I just can't do. Let me add some music here. Talk to the, read some of the comments. All right, let's see what else we got. How have we been? We have been pretty good. We're enjoying our weekend. We are out on the East Coast in New Jersey, and we are breathing clean air for the first time all week. Oh, man, that has been just tons of fun. Um, Let's see what else we have. Uh, What's our favorite reaction that we've ever made? That is a good question. I think, I mean, you would probably say one of the terrifier reactions. Both terrifier reactions are my one of my favorites, uh, mainly because Cody, Cody really, really was not prepared. Nope. For the original terrifier, I think ter- the original terrifier, you had a less fun time. Yeah, well, because I had no idea what what I was getting myself into. At least for terrifier two, I like knew what <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> could expect. Uh, of course, it still didn't like. I wasn't prepared for Terrifier 2 either, but at least like I went into it knowing what we were going to get. All right. Uh, Raina says, what are your expectations for Chucky Season 3? Any theories you want to throw out? I don't think we've thought about Chucky in a while. I'm just excited for it to come back, to be perfectly yeah. honest. I kind of want to get a new set of characters for Season 3. And we might have a little bit of our OGs coming back, but I want to have some new stories to explore. And I want Devin Sawa to show up in a brand new character. Every time. I think Devin Sawa should come, out, come back in any form possible. He should be disguised with like a bunch of different mustaches, beards, um, anything that you could point at. He should be like an old man in season three, in my <laughs> opinion. Uh, but still make him hot, like hot old man. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, like he still has like ripped abs, but <laughs> and he will get naked at some point. But oh, I also have to remember that we have to try to be uh, a little PG for YouTube standards. We're still going to be our natural selves, but we can't just be like flinging 50 penises like here and there, you know? No. All right. Uh, Dean Smith says, what would you say has been the scariest thing you've seen so far? (sighs) That's an excellent question. Um, This is is pre-channel because Sergio started showing me horror movies when we started dating. But I think the scariest thing I've seen is probably Hereditary. That one, that's <gasps> the only movie that we've had to like fully stop so that I could recover. And I think that all of you will know exactly what point I'm in the movie I'm talking about there. Uh, but that's probably the scariest thing. And especially like once we got to the end, I was just like holding on to Sergio for dear life. See, Hereditary, and also I just put some background music, guys. Um, if it is too loud, let us know. Um, but if not, Cool. Uh, But I have to say Hereditary is one of the most requested from us. Um, They're like, you got to see Hereditary. And it is such a missed opportunity Mm -hmm. of a reaction. But at the same time, because we, we one day before we did the channel, I believe, or maybe we were like thinking about doing the channel. We just started dipping our toes. Um, We put Hereditary on just for fucks and giggles. And then... It was one of the best reactions I could have I could have ever had with Cody, and that's just gonna be for us. That's yeah. just, <laughs> that is that is just a me and Cody uh, moment. All right. Do you want to read some? Yep, I'm reading through the channels. Uh, Hereditary was terrifying. Says Zaziza. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Loren says, my theory was that Stu was going to be in Scream 6. We saw a bunch of theories like that. I personally felt like Stu was probably not coming back. And we we know that now that they've confirmed. But 
That would have been quite interesting to see Stu just reappear. I'm not really sure what role he would have played. I mean, they've done like a few cam, not a few, well, yeah, a few cameos of uh, Matthew Lillard being in the background of of a bunch of screen movies, but please don't hate me, Stu people, Stu Stu fans. I just don't. I'm okay. Is that does that make sense? Like I'm okay if Stu does not come back. Um, I'm kind of in the middle, but Matthew Lillard as an actor, I love mm-hmm. him. I do love him. Actually, I do love Stu as a character too. All right. So JP says, what upcoming horror movies coming out this year, next year? Are you guys excited to see? This is probably more of a you question. You keep up with the news more than I do. Oh, my God. Well, I'm definitely, I mean, I feel like all the FNAF people are going to come out of the woodworks. But I used to be such a digger of the old, like, FNAF, uh, in case you don't know. Do you know FNAF? I know Five Nights at Freddy. Okay, okay. Uh, I just wanted to double check, because Cody knows nothing of the lore. I tried to get him into it at one point, and he just... I think he fell asleep, uh, realistically. Okay, don't call me out like that. That's not very fair. Uh, we, I mean, I, I can recall seeing one of the uh, one of the MatPat videos yeah, about Matt Pat FNAF, big... but I don't remember very much from it. We, I have played a little bit of Five Nights at Freddy's before. Which is funny, because I, I just saw someone's comment, Cameron F. Uh, it is funny because Matthew Lillard is in the Five Nights at Freddy's cast so it was a natural segment into that movie but i'm looking forward to it five nights five nights and freddy's was like one of those first like horror games that i played on my mobile phone and i was just like fucking getting scared with it then i went into markiplier uh reaction videos and i just saw him um react to and playing to five nights at freddy's Mm -hmm. and I, there was the inklings of a movie coming out, and then it didn't, and then it did, and then I heard they used the script for another movie that came out a while ago. Who knows if that's true? Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Um, and then, yeah, now it's coming out. And it kind of like, I wasn't a child when I was into it. I kind of was like, I don't know, maybe like 17 or 18. I'm, I don't remember. But teenage me, I'm about it. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, there were two comments about potential future reactions. One said, are we going to see The Collection, which is a sequel to The Collector? I feel like we have to, considering how fired up I got over The Collector. Yeah. Um, and also, will we be reacting to Pearl? We do plan to react to Pearl at some point in the near future. Pearl has been a movie that has been... Um, kind of put to the sideline a little bit when it comes to our reactions. So we really, really are so freaking sorry to everybody who's been wanting us to react to Pearl. We are going to be reacting to Pearl. We had an idea of doing a like back-to-back featurette of X and then watching Pearl Mm -hmm. or vice versa of like Pearl and then directly going into X. Um, That's what, what was kind of our idea coming up. Uh, someone said, not going to lie, I don't really understand the FNAF folklore either. <laughs> so <laughs> glad I'm not alone. Um, someone said, have y'all ever had the feeling that someone is watching you on your way to the bathroom and you see like a person in the corner of your eye? Oh, my God. Wait, what? I like. Wait, who's someone said that in the comments? Yeah. <gasps> I. OK, now y'all are just trying to fuck up Cody. <laughs> now you're just you're just trying to do this on purpose. Yeah, I see shit in like shadows in the darkness. I don't I don't need that in my life. <laughs> Also, heads up, warning, guys. We, okay, so our last stream was, like, April of 2022. We've mm-hmm. had been streamed since then. This was, like, technically a failed idea for us because we wanted to do this uh, streaming series where we streamed every Sunday and we just play horror games, chill, have drinks, and talk with you guys, and then life kind of just kept up with us and... Things got all messed up. Yeah. So now we are going to pick them back up. So I'm trying to get my my feet wet into the whole streaming idea. So if there's any fuck ups today, please forgive us because we are learning. (laughs) And if anything comes up, feel free to let us know in the comments. We'll take note of it for next time. Uh, As you can see, our chat box looks kind of weird. So we're going to we're going to we're going to work on that. 
Uh, some other questions. What season of Chucky do you feel had the best kill? I think I want to say season one. Um, I want. I think my my best kill there would be when Junior's mom got thrown out the window and landed on the car while he was waiting in the car. Oh wow, that was a good one. Sh shocking for me would be uh, Devin's mom. Oh, yeah. It wasn't my favorite, but I was shocked. I was shook. I was like, oh, shit, they're going for it. They, like, literally killed her off. Oh, my God. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Shoot. So sorry, guys. Um, somebody's, somebody's, a, someone's in the comments right now being oh, like, fuck y'all. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have. If you could go up against a horror slasher, who would it be? Um, I kind of want to say Ghostface because at least I know they're, like, actually just human and not supernatural. Personally. Wait, what was the question? Uh, if you could go up, up against a slasher killer, who would it be? Up against a slasher killer? Like, what do you mean? Like, like Freddy, like who I, who I wish I wanted to get killed by, who I want to fuck. Who, who you want to try like, to run away from and fight back take, with, I'm assuming. Realistically? Yeah. Okay, who I can take realistically. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Jason is a big bowl of meat so i don't think i would survive really well ghost face is a little different because he's kind of conniving he could be anybody i know he could be you and then what do i do then he's like he plays mind tricks mm -hmm. uh, but he's also stab happy and i don't think i would survive that i feel like freddy i would survive freddy only because i rarely even sleep nowadays so <laughs> i stay up watching tiktoks Someone said, I watched your Dead Rise reaction literally 20 times. Thank you. I, that was another rough movie for me to go through. Someone, I, there was a question a while ago about whether we like body horror, and the answer for me is no. <laughs> I do not like body horror. I love body horror. Like The Fly um, from the 80s. Uh, that with, was oh my great God. movie, but too much. So good. Anything with like nails. Nail horror. Or, oh, mm, girl. No, no please. <sighs> that is too much. Um, I, somebody did say, okay, Powers the Titty Goblin said, I can take them all in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be clear, in a fight? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have to go down this rabbit hole. Okay. Who would you fuck? Uh, Again, I'm like trying to get myself demonetized. Oh, geez. I honestly... That is an excellent question. I honestly don't know. Oh my god! I think it has to be pre-zombie. No, I'm not gonna do it. No, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I was about to say, I... no, Michael, Michael, Michael from uh, Halloween Two, maybe. Okay, not Halloween One, even though know. it's the same it's person. The same... <laughs> it's the same person. I don't know why I said that, but I think Halloween One. Okay. Is the person I would be like, okay, let's go for it. Let's go. <laughs> Consensual, of course. Um, you? Oh, no. I, I honestly, I I don't know. Somebody said Daddy Art, and I'm only assuming it's because you're down to, you know, fool around with Daddy Art. Definitely not Art, for sure. You talk a hey, I'm ready and willing for whenever Art is available. <laughs> you can find it in. Oh, my gosh. I can't. Sex with Art the Clown, I feel like, would be... Depraved. Would be very depraved. Uh -huh. Like, any fantasy you have, I feel like he would make it happen. But, it, well, I mean, that's the, that's the flip side, right? Any kink, no matter what it is, Art will do. Somebody said the paranormal activity ghost. <laughs> Toby? It's Toby? Oh, my God. I can't. So I'm saying I would definitely do it with Jason, Michael Myers, and Art the Clown. All at once? That's a lot. No, that's good. That's good. A lot of muscle and a little, you know, hey, <laughs> a, a little pizzazz. <laughs> uh, can we do video game uh, villains? If so, Mr. X. I need to remind myself who Mr. X is. Again, also, there's another disclaimer we want to talk about. But Mr. X, Resident Evil 2. We're popping him up right now and taking... 
Oh. Hmm. Oh, he's daddy. Mm -hmm. He's daddy. Okay, Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 can take both of us on. Yeah. <laughs> he, we're down. So, Raider Skew 11 Y said, Happy birthday, Cody. Thank you. Thank you all for the birthday wishes. You are so sweet. Joey XYZ, so good to see you in the chat. Hello. I know AHS is a she, but the leather gay killer in the recent season. We haven't seen the the recent season of American Horror Story. If not, if if you need a react, if you need a reaction from us from any series, it may be American Horror Story because we haven't seen anything past like season th three, three or yeah. four. I. I did Take start, away our gay cards. I know. I, know. <laughs> I did start watching it in my Ryan spare Murphy's going to be come after us. And I got up to halfway through Freak Show, and I never finished Freak Show. So there's a lot of American Horror Story I have not seen. Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't seen many of them. Um, Ashley Summers, a guy in Michael Myers' mask stood outside the hair salon I worked at, and I was closing up one night. I was 29, and my and called my dad to come get me. Oh my god, I would too. At closing? Yo, you remember that time where like there was a bunch of clowns and like red balloons just like just red balloons out, like know? on the side of the highway? I can't. I thought I was going to die in that moment. Dad says Coven is kind of tea. I did love Coven. That oh wait, no. Season. You watch Coven. I haven't seen Coven. Mm -hmm. No, I, I love I, witchy stuff. I love the first and second season of American Horror Story. I have not seen anything past the second one. Uh, Se season of AHS with Lady Gaga was the best. That was Hotel, right? Uh, well, I wouldn't know. I think it was Hotel. Reina Amaturi says, who is your top five characters of Chucky season two? And it could also include one of the three variants of Chucky. Oh, my goodness. Bald Chucky was life. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. David Chucky was life. If you know, you know. Um, but I would have to say, I mean, I got to go with my girl Tiff. Mm -hmm. You have to. Tiff is always. Oh, and if anybody wants to clip this part, because we are going to put it out in the universe. Um, Jennifer Tilly, if you want to. Officiate? Officiate, yeah. Officiate. If you want to officiate our wedding, we'd Please. be down. We are so down. We would love you to do it. Everybody tag Jennifer Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but that would be awesome. Um, I would say Jennifer Tilly, Paul Chucky. The one teacher that was nice to Jake. I in can't season remember one, name. right? No, in season two. The nun who was like on the oh, side. Oh, she was cool. She was mm -hmm. cool, yeah. Um... Oh, and um, what was her name? Um, I'm horrible with names. See, this is like We're behind the, the scenes. I'm yeah. constantly like that person with the curly hair. You can look searching. up on your phone. <laughs> I totally can. I completely <laughs> forget. Moni Bernie says, a lot of people didn't like AHS Roanoke, but I loved it. I hear that there's some debate out there regarding that season. I, I again, we, we can't we can't comment on it, but... Once we see it, we will report back and let you know what we think. Laurent, you know Sergio's favorite song, Tip Top, Tip Toe Through oh, the yeah. Window. You do love that song. That gave me chills in Insidious, by the way. I love it. It's such a banger. Miss Fairchild. Yes. Miss Fairchild. Thank you, Kenneth. We love you. Uh, I, and Lexi's <laughs> Lexi's roommate, of course, we also loved, but I can't remember her name either. So tall Asian Nadine. chick. Nadine. 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 <gasps> we love Nadine. Spoiler alert. No, we're not going to spoil it, but Nadine. What's the thing that they do in Hunger Games? Oh, yeah. The three, <laughs> three fingers. Three fingers. Oh, my God. I can't close it. Is that a thing? Oh wow! Interesting. Okay, I wait. I can. can I not close it? Can you do the like the Star Trek thing? I can do the Star Trek. It it takes a little bit out of me, but that's so. Anyways, um, so we had tall Asian chick who is in our Discord. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being in our Discord. Uh, ah, wait. At what point did boyfriend go to fiance? I haven't gone to that lore yet. Ooh, horror bandwagon lore. I love that. It was last September. 
Yeah, we had a Disney trip mm -hmm. um, that we, you know, we've been planning. I wasn't expecting it. Nope. Of course, me being annoying person that I am, I was like, man, I'm really, this would have been perfect for like a proposal, All you know? Mm, I don't know. So I, I proposed at the end of the day in Magic Kingdom, we had late... Um, we had late reservations at the Beauty and the Beast restaurant. This is a little pro tip. We are not a Disney uh, a Disney pro tip channel, but little quick pro tip is that you can get reservations for after the park closes, and then they'll escort you out of the park when you're done with dinner, but you will have the, the, the castle all lit up basically just to yourself. So that is when I propose to you, but all day, he was like, we walked past a couple that got proposed. He's like, oh, it would be just so nice if like we got engaged soon and I have the ring in my backpack the entire time. Mm hmm. But yeah, we've been engaged for almost a year. Yeah. Oh, no. It's been over a year. Oh, has it been over a year? It's over a year. Oh, geez. Wow. Caught on camera. Candid camera. Cody doesn't. No, no, okay. Um, we are. Our wedding is going to be. Is already in the works and is planned to be for next year, next Halloween. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make it spooky. We're gonna make it spooky ooky. Joey XYZ <laughs> signed the prenup. Oh, oh my God. God. Girl, mm, I don't know. This is a joint business. There was one time, okay guys, this is the inside tea. No, 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 this doesn't have to do, it has to do with the channel. So okay. there was one idea that came up um, that we were thinking like, what if on April Fool's Day, one year, we will do like a, a video that says we broke up and then what i would never to allow channel? him to do that what this was a him idea i know this is my like joker brain in like going in full force meanwhile i'm like don't even put that in the universe i don't want anything to do with it no thank you <laughs> uh kristen thing says will you react to uh oh my god are you guys going to react to interview with the vampire it's so queer and i love it yes but we're afraid that we're gonna get boners while we're reacting to it it's gonna get hot and heavy um <laughs> just just make out on screen no we actually do want to watch it we uh do. we want to watch anything that has queer people who gets custody of baby bandwagon oh my god that's true that is a good question fight, fight to the death we'll throw a poll up just cut the baby in half <laughs> The TV show from from Would You React says Jay. Hey Jay, how are ya? Uh, yes, we've been hearing so much about from. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that the Horror Hour is covering like episode per episode. All so right. I would, if you guys need from content, go over to them. Um, but reaction wise, it's on our list. We definitely mm -hmm. want to. Being that this summer we want to focus more on maybe like a more um, I don't know, uh, very uh, queer labeled kind of TV show. We 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 did pull a poll a poll up about what TV show we should watch next until at least Chucky comes out, mm -hmm. and it came out to be um, Scream Queens, and it's awesome. And I never watched Scream Queens, <clears throat> so nope. this so is this is going to be a very new. interesting ride. We are going to be reacting to Scream Queens, uh, and once we get done with the other TV shows, we'll definitely definitely visit from and we. And we got two seasons of it to react to. Someone said, did Cody just admit to being Art the Clown cutting in half? Hmm? That's an interesting theory, That's and the theory. we will not discuss that theory I will just channel. say, I've never... <laughs> 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 Cody sneaks away at night somewhere. I don't know where he goes. Yutaka, our, 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 favorite, our favorite person, we sure are, and y'all would love... See, go go to the horror. Go horror hour to, for, for some from stuff. It's got some hot daddies. Well, now we gotta go... Check we out from. You gotta do it. Okay. There's very little that I say no from the get go. I will react to just about anything. I'll come in with an open mind and sometimes leave just <laughs> ruined forever, like with <laughs> Terrifier. Oh my God. Sergio so gonna love the killer dev. Not me. I'm an innocent man. David D says, where's the honeymoon Camp Crystal Lake, Woodsboro? Ooh. No, you know where we should is uh, the Scream House, Stu's house. I hear oh, that, that would you, be fun. I hear that you can stay there. Yeah, it's like an Airbnb, the, right? That would be so cute. Mm -hmm. And we can just re- I'm sure people reenact scenes from the, from the movie all the time. We would do that.
Someone said, if Andy comes back in season three of Chucky, would you like him to keep the long hair? I would. Who? Andy? Andy, yeah. No, I like him with the short hair. I liked him with the longer I'm hair, sorry. I think. Go back and check the receipts. We definitely discussed it as we were going through. Uh, we're going to go back a little bit to, to see where, if we, if we miss anything. Uh, Zane Loretto Mendez says, you guys are my favorite reaction. I love your humor. Thank you so Thank much. You. We honestly don't try to be funny. Because we're just goofballs, and we thank you for watching us. So. <laughs> Um, Candid says Nadine, I had a temper tantrum for hours. Yeah. Don't worry, we we cried, we cried. Oh, okay. So we're still gonna chat with y'all. Ask us any questions that you guys want. Um, you know, this is amazing. You know, again, we're we're doing this this live stream to talk with you guys, answer questions. But we will be playing some video games yes. today. That is gonna happen. So what's on the roster for today is we're gonna be playing this game called Mort... <laughs> I don't know, fuck, I can't pronounce it. Mortician's Assistant? Yeah. The Mortician's Assistant? Yeah. Wow, I couldn't pronounce. I thought it was like the mortuary or something like well, that. Well, mortuary is also a word. That's that's where a mortician works as a mortuary. Where the mortuaries. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're playing the mortician. I already, I already I've, I've had too much <laughs> margarita. I'm sorry. The mortuary, uh, Titty Goblin. Thank you so much. Mortuaries, Morticia's assistant. That's what we're playing first, and then we're going to be playing. Um, we're going to be playing Outlast. Yes. Which, if you if you want to see the first half of Outlast or like the first quarter, we don't know how much into the game we are. We started playing Outlast last year. For streaming, mm -hmm. and we got pretty pretty far. We don't know how much left we have the game. We figured we end with Outlast uh, tonight, uh, but we have a, a big, pretty big list of games that we want to play on the stream every Sundays. So if you guys want to check more games out, we're probably gonna end up playing like Resident Evil. Um, there's some indie games that seem pretty scary. Uh, but if you guys have any ideas for video games that are horrifying that you think will get us, now granted. Um, I am the scaredy cat when it comes to video games. See, I will like, I, I don't react usually as badly to jump scares in video games because I'm just like in it. I've got my blinders on. I'm focused on getting through the game. He's so good at puzzles and everything. I'm the one who fucking freaks out. Um, but the one game that Cody is fucking scared of is... Five Nights at Freddy. Oh, yeah, that's true. Five Nights at Freddy <laughs> is he will get pissed off. He will scream at, the sc scream at the screen. And also the jump scares will obviously fucking creep him out. Um, Aaron Two Spirits says, happy birthday, Cody. Thank you. Yes. Julia Bonavita says, you literally said in episode six reaction that you did the, that you dig the long hair, Andy, but... <gasps> I've been fucking called out. I've grown, all right? <laughs> I've, I've, I've had some time to sit with it. It's not bad. I'm not saying he's, like, ugly. <laughs> uh, someone said, I wish season three of Yellow Jackets was done already. I'm so obsessed with that show. And Lottie, we are also obsessed with that show. I can't. I'm, I, by the end of season two, I was indifferent with Lottie. I'm, like, in the middle. Like, I... I don't know how to feel about her. I just have to wait until season three to see how that goes. Yes. Although, of course, we do also have to say, and, and we've said on a Discord before, we do support unions. We want... Yes. We are supporting this writer's strike. So, you know, it sucks, but we're, you know, hopefully they get everything that they need mm -hmm. in order to really give us that quality stuff, you know? Uh, Tall Asian Chick says there's an extra episode. Yes, we did hear that there is an extra episode coming out. I don't think there's a, a date when it's going to be released. I don't think so. But I believe it's going to be closer to when they actually know that season three is going to come out. But yes, we are definitely going to be reacting to that one. Ken is like, I'm still mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bell G says, will you be reacting to the new bonus episode of Yellow Jackets? Yep. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We are going to plan to do that. 
Janelle says, don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, please. Yes. And, and subscribe. If you guys are just checking us out, make sure to subscribe, please. And uh, head over to our Discord. I think the link should be in our description somewhere here or in our previous episodes. Uh, if you're ever having trouble logging onto the Discord, let us know via comments. We'll, hap we'll be happy to help out. Um, Aaron Two Spirits said, if you could cast yourself in a horror slasher, what kind of character would you like to portray? Ooh, that's an interesting question. There's a little part of me that wants to turn out to be one of the villains, but I, I think that my role would totally be the person who starts to figure things out and then gets killed because they learned too much too quickly. I... <sighs> You got final know. girl energy. You could do it. Do you think it. I have final girl energy? Yes. No, I think I have final girl energy's best friend energy. That was a lot of words. But I feel like I'm the best friend who makes it so far and then just I'm I'm uh, Tatum. I'm Tatum. I feel you know, I feel like that that's me and I'm like, you know, I kick ass but then I get like severely stabbed or or yeah. <laughs> that's my answer. Uh, oh, there was a question I saw. Uh, Sasisa, so sorry if I uh, mispronounced that. Have you guys ever seen Hell of a Boss? Uh, we haven't. Um, at least I haven't. I haven't. No, I we haven't, but, you know, we'll check it out. Everyone Two Spirit said, so Sergio is the Kirby of Screen 4. <laughs> I would love. That's why I love Kirby. Yeah. That's why I love seeing her back. Great. Um, so yeah. Christina Ricci needs to be in some slasher movies. I mean, she was in that movie Cursed, um, I believe, and I don't know if she was in other horror movies, but I mean, other slasher movies. But I know that she was in that. Um, so two other movies have we seen? Have we seen Summoning Sylvia and Tusk? I have not seen either one. Which one? Summoning Sylvia and Tusk? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. We'll add it to the list of fucked up things to make Cody watch. <laughs> um, Julia Bonavita, when will you guys react to the rest of the Chucky season two featurettes? I just like those reactions. Listen, girl. We are definitely going to be watching those. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's always better to spread them out a little bit. Um, so, so sorry that those haven't come by yet, but we are like, I know season three is happening. So closer to season three, we're going to be releasing the rest of them. So that way we also get a chance to like review season yes. two. Any guilty pleasure horror movies? Hmm. Um, you know what used to be a guilty pleasure is Halloween Resurrection, but it's no, not a, not a guilty pleasure anymore. I like rec we recently saw it for a podcast episode that we did, mm -hmm. and it just doesn't hit. It's actually bad. It's really bad. <laughs> um, but besides that, I think I think Jason the X. Yes. is a fucking guilty pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's a bad movie, but Jason X is fucking phenomenal at keeping you entertained. And not a scary movie, but the movie, Scary Movie, also a guilty pleasure of mine. I could watch that all day, every day. Cody loves Scary Movie. I do. And by extension, Scream. I could also, like, I could watch Scream whenever. But Scream is not a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Because Scream, Scream is like, yeah, of course you love Scream. <laughs> Um, Aaron Two Spirits said Christina was in Bless the Child with Kim Bassinger and some axe murderer Ooh. movie that I think is a true story. Hmm. Christina Ricci was also in uh, the 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 movie version of based on true events of Amy. Uh, she was in Monster, but I forgot the person that Charlize Theron was portraying. You guys will let me know in the comments. Wasn't that Eileen Warnos? Eileen Warnos, yes. Uh, Christina Ricci was in that too. Uh, someone said they would love to see a collab with the Bridgeco channel. Bridgeco, uh, maybe, maybe some things are bubbling up. But we love Bridgeco, so we would be happy to collab. We do.
Have either Wait. of you seen Your Next? It has one of the best final girls ever. Yes. We have. That is Cody's one of that is one of Cody's favorite movies. Yes. Well, favorite horror movies. Yeah. But yeah, I like I love watching someone actually like be able to t take care of business when shit starts to go down. Drew Wilson says, watching from Georgia, love y'all. We love you too. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out our live stream. Um, we will be, this is our like moment to chat with you guys. And mm -hmm. we're obviously gonna be chatting with you guys throughout the night. But again, if you guys are just stopping by, we are gonna be playing some horror games, which is gonna be the Mortuary's Assistant. I think that's what it is. Yep. And Outlast. Do you have a favorite final boy? I mean, I gotta say Ash, but is that basic? You know, I love Ash, but also like Ash is kind of we have we haven't seen the entirety of Ash versus Evil Dead. We have not. So maybe he's a little bit more badass than that. But I think <laughs> we were pretty skeptical of him in our reaction. Monster 0711, are y'all drinking something special tonight? Yes, uh, I have this whole cup of margarita. Yes, and I'm drinking a rose hard cider. He loves cider. I do. Um, and Cody, Cody's good at pouring the drinks. So it's my job. if I get a little slappy, sh <laughs> that's why. Someone said, I still love Marty from Cabin in the Woods. It's been too long since we have seen Cabin in the Woods. Yeah, you barely remember that. <laughs> I have requested it multiple times. <laughs> um, hey, guys. R Rochelle Watts says, late to my first live. Tacos took precedence. As they should, yeah, honestly. We totally get it. Uh, tacos, top priority, horror bandwagon. Like, right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Emily Leaming says, watching from the UK and looking forward to all the scares. Have you seen the trailers for Boogeyman? Boogeyman. It's a new horror with Sophie Thatcher from Yellow Jackets. I bet you don't know anything about it. I don't. Yeah. I know nothing about it. I've seen the clips. I've seen the, the ads like on TikTok. Uh, Sophie Thatcher is like doing this. Just breathe. You know, she's doing this meditation and then it gets like spooky. Oh, um, but... I think, I don't know. I've heard some reviews and they say they kind of like it's just your average, you know, like jump scary kind of kind of movie. But I'm willing to give it a chance. Monster says yes to both drinks. Also, can you let us know if you can hear the music in the background? If so, if not, I'm gonna raise it a little bit. Chance's House of Horror. Shout out to Chance's House of Horror. Uh, your channel is amazing. We love you, dude. Have you guys seen From Beyond? Would we'll love to see your reaction to that one. I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Have you either. heard of it? I know that sounds shady that we're just like, I haven't heard of it. Um, from Beyond from 1986. Hmm. The poster alone makes me very intrigued. And based on a Lovecraft short story. Interesting. I think that that caught our attention. Oh, Dr. X. That's creepy. Okay, we're going to put it put the music up a little bit just to add the vibe, you know. Uh, someone said the thing with Kurt Russell is a great movie. Cody will love it. I think I think the thing is so good. It is, it is a, a good it movie. is a freaking great monster movie. Mm -hmm. But I every time the scene with the dogs happen, I cry. <laughs> I cry. I can't do it. I can't do it. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know that that stuff is really sensitive to me. Yeah. So, but it's it's I can't deny that it's it's a great movie. That's why I I haven't seen John Wick just because I can't get over 
those first few minutes. A lot mm -hmm. of people say it's not that bad, but I'm like, I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna break down. <laughs> I mean, you could always just leave the room, and I can tell you how much you want to be in support of John Wick for the rest <laughs> of the movie. Tashima Dowry, lots of love and support from DC. We love you. Thank you so much. Tall Asian chick. I'm meeting Janelle Monet on Tuesday. Oh my God, getting her album on vinyl and it'll be signed. Okay, way to drop this like freaking awesome bomb on Seriously. us. Seriously. That's awesome. We love Janelle Monet. Uh, Richelle Watts says, I watched a couple of awesome movies for you to watch on Shutter for Pride Month. All right. We did once react to a movie called, I think it was Hellbent. Hellbent, yes. <gasps> that movie is so gay. It was very gay. It has gay. a like, m like, kind of twinky muscly uh what is that twunk it's a twunk uh serial killer oh and... no he was full-on daddy was he daddy yes okay i forgot <laughs> but he everybody was sexy in that movie mm -hmm. the acting is questionable but and there were some some problematic things but you know what if you guys haven't seen it hellbent Go check it out. Cause, and we also did a did a podcast episode on we it. We did. So it was it was actually a fun watch. If you have drinks, if you want to get high and watch that movie, perfect. Mm -hmm. The movie Spiral on Shudder. We definitely want to see that. Def says one movie is this. Hellbent uh is the mo is the movie that, that mm -hmm. we're we're talking about. Hell bent. Yeah, and the poster is like a knife being pointed at an eyeball. Yeah, it's like an eyeball. But it is super gay. It's 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 a fun watch for sure. Do you guys, uh, Zane Loretto Mendez? Do you guys own a Chucky doll? No, we want to. We well, we, we, Sergio is using the word we very liberally there. Sergio wants a doll. I want to. I, I will never to. trust it. I'm gonna need like an Annabelle case for this for the the Chucky doll when it gets here. Yeah. But I, w I would love to uh, to own a Chucky doll. I know there's like several kinds of it, at least I think on Trick or Treat Studios, but any kind would work. I, I mean, I've, oh, I've always grown up to go past those like stores that are like $1 stores that have like the makeshift Chucky dolls and they're all like just like warped. Yeah, um, the Charlie but, dolls. Yeah, I had one of those. <laughs> Chan says, we need the sexy rated R vampire era to return. Yes. I'd be very down for that. Yes. It, the the types of horror that I actually do enjoy are vampire horror and anything witchy. Love it. Freckled Goddess says, happy birthday, Cody. Thank Woo. you. I feel like every time, no, we're not going to put this to the test. We're not. But if we see a happy birthday, I think you should take a, a drink. Okay. This is unofficial rules, YouTube. <laughs> unofficial rules. We're being good boys. Yutaka did ask for a drinking game, though. That's the drinking game. That's Everybody drink game. when someone says happy birthday to me. Jesse says, what's the worst horror movie you would say you've reacted to? I hate it lights out. It was an interested concept, but they messed it up. I feel like I need to keep my mouth shut for this one because I, I will say something very controversial. The worst horror movie you've reacted to? In terms of like the one that I liked the least, I think you know which one I'm talking about. Which one? Wait, okay, hold on. Whisper it in my ear. Oh yeah. That is we should probably, you know. Um that's fine, okay. I think. It could be split. So if y'all want to know the tea, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll move on. <laughs> Ooh, teasing. We're little teases. See, this is the tequila talking. I'm like, <laughs> but, uh. I don't know what the music background is. I'm gonna. Oh no, too loud, too loud, too loud, too loud. Somebody said, "How did you react when Annabelle escaped years ago?" Annabelle escaped. That's not good. Is that a true story? Coming after you. <laughs> ah, Mississippi <laughs> Motel killed me. Ah, right. no. All right, so Don't. I'll set I'll set it up and then you'll take over. Okay, okay. I'll set it up. Okay. Um, I love white bat audio music. I don't know what that is. I don't know either. 
Not us, like, Googling it. Oh. Oh. Oh, anything dark synth? I love. I love. You probably see that as a probably trend on our channel with, like, synthy background music and stuff like that. I love dark synth stuff. Um, so the T. Okay. Oh, yeah. What do you think Cody's the worst horror movie that... Okay, I do have to say, it's not a movie that we reacted to on the channel. We did not, but we but did he have did a podcast see it. episode about it. He did see it, and we did a podcast episode on it. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. Can anybody guess? Oh, The Collector is definitely up there. Someone said they were listening to The Collector theme this morning. Oh, actually, you know what? Somebody said Saw. That was not it, but that was one that I that went was pretty hard low. on. He, okay. We, we again we did a podcast episode for saw and cody did not let's just say he didn't react well because one it was pretty pretty scary for you but also like you just didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> which is funny because he hasn't seen any of the rest of them i've not I, I haven't seen any of the rest of them either except for the original one so just so you know saw franchise reaction will be coming soon and we will be putting I'm so Cody to the test. My main issue with Saw was just that, like, the overly complicated method of keeping, like, one person policing another, policing another, all thinking that they themselves were being watched, but that there wasn't actually any enforcement mechanism to that. I was like, I don't, I well, don't see how that would all like come together. We're not, with the we're comments. not starting it. Oh I'm my just, God. That, that was only my issue with it. Poor Cody got nine saws to go through. <laughs> oh, my, don't I know it. Chance. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Jensen's house of horror. Oh my god. Yeah. So somebody did say that they would have thought Terrifier, which is definitely up there. But in terms of, well, that's probably tied with this one actually. If I'm thinking of the movies that I enjoyed watching the least, should I say it? Um. Okay. Yeah. I think this was pretty low, and you did not like the experience. So the movie that we are discussing is Creep. Creep from oh god who knows what date was a creep movie and granted cody does not like um found footage mo movies no. no i don't 2014 do you want to explain why yes <laughs> yes i my i mean part of my thing is like it just it felt too real and I just got too freaked out by it. Just the idea that like you're in this person's house and th like you can't leave and it just like keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I, I recognize that as a movie, it's, it's good. I recognize why people may <laughs> like it, but personally I didn't enjoy watching it because it got too real for me and it just freaked me out. So, that is that is a fact. Halfway through the movie, there's like a bomb that like hits the character, and Cody Stomach immediately drop. was like, "No, yeah, done." Um, but if you go to our podcast, it's really funny actually because we had such a good time talking about it yep. in the podcast that when he told me that he hated it and he rated like a one, yeah, and I was hurt, like like. <laughs> Sergio, I was like, what? Sergio edited it out of the actual no, podcast. No, I didn't. But no, the, right after I said that, you're like, wait, hold oh, on. Oh, I was like, like wait, you, I, I need you to a, really think about this. This is a beloved horror movie. I really need you to think about this. <laughs> Someone said, so he got too creeped out. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, Chances House of Horror. Wait, I can't remember. Did you guys react to the sadness yet? No. No. And we've gotten warnings from some good friends that... Cody is not gonna make it through that one. Nope. Um, I don't even know I, if I would because of what I've what I've been hearing about. The I sadness. know absolutely nothing about it. I just know that it's intense, and there's a lot of graphic scenes, um, just uncomfiness. Um, but I don't know if YouTube will let us even show the sadness. But we may do a watch along. 
Chainstaff House of Horror said, uh, honestly, I can handle almost anything, but the sadness Dan near broke me. And things like that make me want to use my like once a year veto on it, almost honestly. Um, uh, Tashima said, realistic horror movies like Creep and The Stranger are the most terrifying. I absolutely agree. The Strangers okay. scared me a lot. This, oh my God, we did do a Strangers uh, reaction and mm -hmm. that was so much fun because Cody did not like the whole thing. It was nope. so good, it was so good. Uh, Yutaka says, uh, <laughs> please watch the sadness. It's actually good. Jay actually liked it. Hmm. Are we'll you see. willing to watch it for the channel? <sighs> well, I came back and watched Tell the audience. Fire too, so I guess, yes, I will watch it. I can't guarantee that I will be happy about we it. We did it, time. folks. We did it. We did it. Cody will be watching the sadness. <laughs> oh, Luis Philippe said, happy birthday, Cody. That's the rule. Rule. Cheers. Oh, man. Oh, Utaka said, uh, thank you for the donation, thank by the way. Thank you so much, Utaka. And, and you, you spoil us too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> says, now what do I have to do to get you to watch either Audition 1999 or Watcher? We have we seen actually, Audition. actually, you don't have to do much. So, um, so we did see it for the podcast. We did do Audition and, and we saw Watcher just to watch it. Did we watch Watcher? Uh, hold on. Uh, yes, it was. Uh, it was that movie with the girl from It Follows, and she's in a different country, and she's oh, she's like being watched by somebody. Yes, that one was good. Honestly, audition. This is a surprise. This is a surprise. Go tell them. So the watching experience not good, but the movie itself, honestly, I kind of loved it. Discussing because the movie was really good. We and, and it's for all of you who have not listened to many episodes of our podcast. That is one that I would really recommend that you go listen to because I think the recording of Audition was my favorite uh, recording that we have done. Yeah. We had two chicks in a horror flick on. Um, they were fantastic, and we just talked for hours theorizing about everything that and trying to find different ways that things could be interpreted. Man, it was a I, good episode. Would I watch the movie again? Honestly, probably not. But it was, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to talk about. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we we were on the podcast with another pod, horror podcast called uh, Two Chicks and a Horror Flick. They really opened up our minds to to that movie. So uh, honestly, it was really good. Mm -hmm. I loved it. There are a couple of happy birthday, Cody. Is that Lu yeah, keep up? Oh yeah, drink drink up, girl. Um, what about inside the inside the French one? Now, now David, David, um, he's the one who suggested inside to us to watch. Instead, we chose the collector to talk about uh, with him. But inside, it's the same as the sadness. We're gonna try to postpone it as much as we can. Um, I'm trying to get more horror movies that Cody will be. Um, ready for a movie like inside i haven't seen inside but i've just heard so many things about it i don't even know how how i would go about getting ready for a movie like that <sighs> don't know and they said that terrifier 3 is going to be pushing boundaries cool and i thought 2 was pretty pretty boundary full mm -hmm. no that doesn't sound that doesn't sound correct beyond boundaries yes 100 yes. whatever Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Reina says, "Will you do? Will you guys do a podcast episode of the Chucky series season seasons one and two? Yes, we would love to. Yeah, I think that'd be uh, a great idea. We are going to be doing one, and we're actually thinking of doing one closer to the release of uh, season three. So, right now, it's just an idea, but expect something from us down the road, and it'll be on YouTube as well." Mm -hmm. uh, Another donation from Janelle saying, happy birthday, Cody. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. And for YouTube's sakes, this is apple juice. We're just drinking apple juice. You can't see in the cup. It's just water. Staying exactly. hydrated. Mm. 
Uh, beautiful. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, happy birthday. Co <laughs> happy birthday, Cody. Yay. <laughs> mm. They also said, Sergio, hello from the Roger, now known as AK Nomad. My Roger team, if you guys don't know, Roger, the Roger used to be a hotel that I worked at. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, Tall Asian Chick says, don't get too inebriated before playing games. We make no promises, and I honestly think that would make it more fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, disclaimer right now. I'm going to say it again when we, when we go to the game part. Um, disclaimer, we are not gamers. We, mm. we do not game on the regular, um, and we don't claim to be good at it. Um, but we will try. Cody is better than I am. Yeah, I would That's say, all I can say. I would say I'm like a lowercase g gamer uh, because <laughs> I like, I have played games. I have, I have logged many hours of Pokemon of various editions and Skyrim and Civ 6. I've also played a lot of, um, but I don't like, I, I've like not played a lot of Like if you tell us like any gaming term, we'd be like, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but we will try our best. Um, Louise, he actually um, said something before. What's the most gory movie y'all ever watched? Probably Terrifier, Terrifier 2 for me. More gory that I've watched? Honestly, there's nothing like Terrifier 2 that I've seen. Actually, no. Terrifier 1, that one scene, Ugh. if you know, you know. Mm. Um, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. Uh, Tashima says, besides all things horror, what other movies and shows do you watch? I, I mean, I, I'm really nerdy. I like, <laughs> uh, I'm constantly watching, like rewatching Lord of the Rings all the time. I just did like this past weekend again. Um, my, my interests range pretty widely, actually. I love me a good rom-com. Or general comedy. Anything gay. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys are telling us. Uh, we've seen some comments, too, about watching Heartstopper. We have seen Heartstopper. We have. We, 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 we watched it on the side, and we think it's a awesome. Such a good show. And I cried many times. Uh, Praying Banshee says, are you guys going to play Outlast? We are. Fuck yeah. We are planning to do Outlast, eventually Outlast 2. And maybe Outlast Trials. I know there's an Outlast whistleblower. I don't know. I don't know much about it, but maybe, maybe we'll play that one. Uh, and Joshua said Cody was doing really well with Outlast back in the day. I feel like y'all are decent at games. Oh, thank you. Okay, Joshua also, aka um, them film goblins. Uh, check him out. Mm -hmm. Uh, what Devin T says, what horror games are you playing? We're going to be playing Outlast today and also um, The Mortuary's Assistant. Mm -hmm. I always fucking forget that name. Chances House of Horror. Now we got y'all. We can help you through it. All right. That's what that's that's, that's the vibe uh, we're going for. Yeah, that's the that's the vibe we need right now. Tell Asian Chick says, oh, yeah, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everybody. I'm going to take that as a drink. Yes. Cheers, everybody. Happy Pride Month. Ooh. Uh, Joshua says Outlast Whistleblower is DLC for the first game. It's a continuation. We will definitely have to play that. We definitely. Mortuary's assistant is so fun. Now, by fun, do you mean like, <laughs> like it's a good time, a good romp, or is it like horrifying and horrifying fun? We you will know? have to see. Cause like Outlast is like not happy fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a nightmare. But we do want to say thank you for coming back. Um, Joshua was one of our early viewers. Joshua was one of our, when we were streaming on Twitch, he was one of our first few viewers. So much love to you. We love you. Thank you. Uh, Ashton D says, Cody is a Gemini. That explains every reaction ever. <laughs> Read them. Read them. In a good way. <laughs> Uh, 
I Saw the Devil, Tammy Dayton, I Saw the Devil, Best Korean Horror. Um, have to watch that one. I've seen the poster for it. So um, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that one to, to react to. Uh, Kenneth says, Sergio, I need the Scream Cup. Chance also said, you need the Scream Cup. I mean, I'm not going to share my Scream Cup, but we're passing off a drink to y'all. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm going to be like a one of those makeup artists. No! Why can't I get it? <laughs> oh! 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 Yes! Nice. Cody, can you explain why Sergio is so intent to convince us that you are mean to him? What is this conspiracy? <laughs> oh. Sergio just uh, likes to try to read me. Don't really know why. Stop it. This is, we just like to roast each other a lot. But I'm nothing but a sweetheart to him at all times. I think that's like, I don't know, that just comes with us being us, mm -hmm. I think. And I think it's one of the few things that, one of the many things that I love about Cody um, that we're able to kind of just roast each other. And yes, so so we know that we love each other. Um, Joshua said, so happy to see y'all back playing games. I miss y'all doing live stuff. We <laughs> we are also very happy to be back. Doing the lives was a lot of fun. Um, there are some things that are not happening anymore that were keeping us busy last year. Like I was finishing up school and everything. Oh, so, yeah, it was hard. So, yes, we have so much more free time now. I shouldn't say that. But we have enough free time to go back and do lives again. So, uh, yeah, very happy to be back. And we love that you are all here with us. Uh, Ashley Summer says, what sign is Sergio? Well, I am a Leo, mm -hmm. if, if that makes any sense to anybody. Birthday is July 29th, so it's going to be next month. So um, we are actually going to the Beyonce concert. Yes, we will be so at a Beyonce this, concert for his birthday. We may or may not be hung over for a Sunday stream. We will let y'all know. <laughs> Uh, HF said, I knew Sergio was a Leo. Ah, I always <laughs> get that. Everybody's always like, oh. No, the, the main thing I get, and this was mostly like when I was on the dating scene, people would be like, oh, you're a Leo. That was always the reaction I got. Uh, Tashima says, any pets? Yes, we have a dog. He is sleeping downstairs. Very soundly. Tammy Dane and Leo, yes. HF says, I'm a Leo too, and I know it's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everybody, let us know your, your signs. Chances House of Heart, yeah, Heart Bandwagon. Bang, Horror Bandwagon. Horror Bandwagon Cribs <laughs> episode. We will, we can, we can show you around. It's July 30th, yes. Talk, see, this is why we get along, Yutaka. Yutaka's mm. a Leo. <laughs> Chance is House of Horror. I'm a Taurus, and it's easy to tell. All right. See, I don't know. Le Chance, Chance is House of Horror. Let me know what you uh, what qualifies a Taurus, because I heard Leos and Tauruses get along really easily. Like, I've had a lot of Taurus friends. I... I mean, I'm no expert in astrology. <laughs> All I ever heard is that Tauruses, because they are the sign of the bull, can be sometimes stubborn, not a read, not coming for anybody, but... Oh, that's fine. I, Leo's main thing is that they're, like, uh, love to be in the spotlight and are hams and stuff like that, which is kind of true for me a little bit. JP says, what is your least favorite horror movie you have seen recently um, on the channel or in pers personal life? What is your least favorite horror movie you have seen recently? I don't know. I don't know that I can think of one that we've watched in a while that I haven't. That we were liked. like, this is butthole. Um, that's a very good question. What have we? Because it's so hard to to now do because we have seen, you know, we wait to see things for the channel. Um, but as of horror, 
I don't know. We're, we're going to have to think about that. Yeah. We have to think about that a little bit. Uh, HS says, I feel like so many good horror movies have come out since your channel started. It's been a solid past few years. I Honestly, would agree. Yeah, it's been banger after banger. I'm not going to lie. Even ones that like are not my ultimate favorite are still really good. Mm -hmm. um, that's why it's a little hard to kind of pick like what really was trash. Um, though, I will say, and y'all let me know. <sighs> No one, we actually haven't seen anyone kind of suggest that we see Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh. But I personally don't have any like urgence to go see, to react to Blood and Honey. But if y'all, you know, make it a big push, um, we'll, we'll watch it. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, JP says, okay, I'll give you a better question. So my last one was a bust. Who, in your <laughs> opinion, is the most annoying character in a horror movie? Oh, oh. annoying. Uh, hmm. Oh, man. You know who I think was kind of annoying? And I don't know if it's not fair or not, but like, um, fuck, who was, the, who was the final girl for Barbarian? She made all the wrong oh, decisions. Yeah. She did everything stupid. Um, and I personally, I maybe not annoying level, but I, I I was like not on her side. I was girl. I was like, Mama, get her if you need to. Tess, everyone is saying oh, Tess. Tess. Tess, girl, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you, you know. Mm -hmm. The kid from. <gasps> The kid from Better Watch Out. No, you are so freaking right. The kid from Better Watch Out. Do you remember that movie? No. No. Okay. Ugh. I can't spoil anything, but if you guys watch Better Watch Out, that kid freaking annoyed me. And it's one of those movies that it can be hit or miss for you. But to, to spin this question around a little bit, I will tell you a, a unpopular opinion that a lot of people have, well, no, that I have. Um, Halloween five, I forgot her name, but they switched over the final girl or like the main lead girl to this new girl and everybody hates her guts in Halloween five. Everyone hates her. I, I don't, I don't mind her. I, I actually kind of like her. That's my unpopular opinion. Tina, Tina, oh my God. So many, so many videos that I've watched about how they hate Tina. I love Tina. I actually was sad when she died. I was like, oh man. Dream Sing says Tina wasn't bad at all. Right? Oh, thank God. I, I, I thought people were gonna be like, girl, you're wrong for this one, which is fair, which is fair. Oh yeah, right. Well, Rachel, they did Rachel dirty in Halloween 4. Uh Tashima said there's going to be a sequel for Blood and Honey. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I would feel about a sequel for Blood and Honey. But again, we would we should give Blood and Honey a chance, I think. Yeah. The kid in the Babadook is so annoying. I actually have not seen the Babadook, but I, I've seen that picture of that kid yelling so many times. So I, I, I agree with you guys. I think he might be a freaking awful. Are we excited for Terrifier 3? No. No. I am. I am. He is not excited for various reasons. Uh, Joe says, I hate Lexi from Chucky. Interesting opinion. We hated Lexi for a very long time. Until then, we loved Lexi. No, that is so true. Wait, no, you're not off. That is very true. You're right. Joe, uh, the Lexi hate, at least for us, very first few episodes, we were like, what the 
fuck yeah. Lexi. But then eventually, down the line, we, we hated so, her so much that I was like, they're going to try to make us like her, aren't they? They're going to try to make us like her. And they eventually did. And we did. We ended up liking her. But I also do like the actress who plays Lexi. I think she she does a great job. Yeah. Uh, Drew Wilson says, speaking of sequels, anything you want to see in Scream 7? Well, I mean, that's an interesting question. I think, because they always try to be kind of meta with Scream, right? And I feel like even more so than the last movie, we could lean into the true crime aspect of it. Mm -hmm. I think it would be interesting to move away from the, you know, some of the ongoing things that we had for the last two movies and just have someone who wants to do a like basic ass copycat of Ghostface just because Ghostface was cool. Yeah. And I would love it to be like you could have a Drew Crime angle on it, like almost have it be, well, maybe not the movie itself be documentary style, but you could feature that in in some way. Maybe Gail is doing a, uh, a Ghostface documentary movie or something. Yeah. I think that would be fun to do. Um, I would like, I mean, I'm a little bit bonkers with it. I think go super meta and create a multiverse where <laughs> create a multiverse of ghost faces and you bring different kind of ghost faces into one movie. Who knows? Maybe, maybe that could be a plot line. Um, but I, I honestly don't have too many expectations. I do want Sydney to come back. I would love to see Sydney come back. Mm -hmm. Um, Preferably, probably the opening kill scene. Not necessarily the opening kill, but maybe like part of the opening is one of my predictions. Tall Asian Chick said they should make Sam the killer. That was a theory that I had for Scream 6, actually, yeah. was that it was going to be something like, like maybe her medicine wasn't working and she was like... Like, what if she was actually giving in to being the killer, whether subconsciously or just on her own? Yeah. Tree Gallagher says, hey, boys, today's my mom's 70th birthday. Happy 70th birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. We both love you so much. She's so excited that you went live today. And happy Aww. birthday, Cody. Happy birthday, Cody. Thank you so much, Tree. I've seen... I've seen your comments here and there. So thank you so much for commenting, Tree. Jay says, wouldn't it be really meta to have Regina Hall, Brenda from Scary <gasps> Movie, to be in the opening kill of Scream 7? Oh, my God. Yes. I think that would be awesome. I have to agree. I think that would be good. Mm -hmm. See, the thing with Sam is that I kind of want them to be like, if you're going to make her the killer, make her the killer. Like, I don't want... The, we've teased her so much. But, I mean, I, I get why for Scream 5 and for Scream 6. Like, you're amping up for something. For the for the f finale... Well, assuming Scream 7 is a finale. I don't mm -hmm. know. But if it is a finale, I think it needs to be, like... If you're going to make her a killer, don't, you know, teeter-totter on it and make us guess by the end. I kind of want to know off the bat. Personally. Ooh, what if Sam is the killer, but what she does is she will hunt people down, then like make it look like she puts a ghost face mask on them and makes it look like they attacked her. <gasps> and oh she's actually the one killing them. And we don't know until the end of the movie when we like see it happen from beginning to end. See, but then that goes against my theory where like I kind of want to just know off the bat. I want her and then another killer. Like there's two killers. Like she's actually committing a whole slew of different killings, but there's actually another killer on the other side of town doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of something like that. Uh, Joey XYZ says Nisi Nash is the new Woodsboro Sheriff. I would live. Down. Down boots. Nisi Nash. Love her. Are you either are either of you into horror video games? I can't play them because I'll die, but watching other people play them is fun. <laughs> I, I do have to say, I mean, I haven't played a ton, but um, when we were playing Outlast last year, I was really into it. I was like, all right, when are we getting back on so I, I can finish this game? I actually love horror games, but I mostly like, I used to be the kid playing Silent Hill from like 10 a.m. till like, 8 p.m. Like, I would be just playing the whole game. I was so, so into it. I, I'm so happy they're possibly doing a Silent Hill 2 
remake and they're releasing it just like Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll definitely be playing that. Um, Aniki Art says, when are we getting the next Insidious movie reaction? We are going to be reacting to the other Insidious movies. Yes, we are. We are. We have some other reactions coming by first, but we definitely are going to be uh, prioritizing it for at least this summer for the next Insidious movie. Respectfully, when are you gonna start start gaming? We're gonna we're gonna spend maybe like a few more minutes here on on here, and then we're gonna start gaming. We just want, being that it's a first one, we wanted to kind of properly talk with you guys. Yeah, we're having lots of fun hanging out with all y'all. Daniel B, would you do American Horror Story reactions? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'd be down. Have you guys watched Dead Stream on Shutter? That's another movie that I've been wanting to watch. Um, I hear it's a it's like a horror comedy. Okay. Um, so Dead Stream definitely on our list to watch. Out of the uh, DSR says out of the foreign films you reacted to, which is your fave? We already I already answered this earlier, which was probably Audition, just because it, it's such a fascinating movie. I loved incantation oh no incantation was so creepy but it was like fun creepy for me i legitimately loved um watching incantation it was not fun creepy for me it was regular <laughs> creepy for me one of the few movies that has really made me like actually scream JP says that stream is a horror comedy, but it's also scary enough that it made me scream out loud right. more than once. Get ready, Cody. You know, I can tolerate a horror comedy usually. I, I think I'd be down for it. Do you think it's a good time to? Yeah, let's to go. All right, guys, we're definitely going to be answering more questions later on in the stream. But for now, we're going to take a quick break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to start playing some games. So stay tuned. We're going to be here for tonight to wipe off those uh, Sunday scaries. So stay tuned.
better? <laughs> that is a little bit embarrassing. Um, sorry. <laughs> but welcome. So sorry for that weird transition. Uh, please let us know if you can um, hear the music. The the It's like a little creepy kind of toy box music going on right now. Uh, Jordan Wagner says, big, happy, spooky boosh day. Uh, Cody, that love you gals. So, that's a double drink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get better this. I love you gals. Every video that comes out makes my day, day much that better. Not lying. You two are great. Please Aww. watch Last Shift. So we are much. going to be watching Last Shift. We definitely will. If any can, we love you, Jordan. Thank you so much. JP, I audibly gasped when I saw the game you were playing, y'all. <gasps> Should we be worried? I don't know. So far, I mean, at least from the from the little lobby shot that they had in this, I'm getting some uh, flashbacks to Haunting of Hill House. Which we love that show. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of a heads up, guys. There was like a little pre-menu thing that they showed us, and it was, it said um, that these were based on actual paranormal events or something. I mean, they could just be saying that. but They so. could just be saying that to sell it, but still. Uh, happy birthday, Cody. We got to. Oh, thank you. We're you guys just are so nice. Drinking to have fun. That's it. Steven, happy birthday, Cody. Thank you so much. All right, let's get to this. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we do have that subscriber sound. I forgot about that. Ah, welcome, subscriber welcome. Matt Davis. All right. I thought it was something the game was doing for a second. All right, guys, we're going to start playing. We're going to we're going to try to. We're, we're going to split our opportunities here. Cody okay. is going to play, and I'm going to look at the comments. All right. We're starting a shift. We're working. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's get going. Let's get going. I'm so glad. Chance says, happy birthday again, Cody. I got to head out to my daughter's board. Wants my attention. Have a good night, Chance. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for joining. There's nothing disturbing about it. It's just but that I... am proud of you. I really am. You've come so far. Ooh. So, girl is... You haven't told me what's that next. wig. Will you get a job later That on, wig. Or? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving? All right, away this woman off already <laughs> off the bat looks like she's no, haunted. I'm moving. <laughs> this is the grandma looks right like there. she's about to be haunted. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma, even I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. Make up stories. Jordan says, that's "Love her swoop." She okay. She does. Mm -hmm. Like if I if I could get this wig, I would wear it right now. When we lose we a lot of volume. No one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry, but I wanted to give you this anyway. So here. Haunted. Haunted. She knows something. I, I don't know Off the I bat, she knows something. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Mm -mm. She's like, oh, you're about to, like, embalm some bodies? Wait, what does embalm mean? Embalming is where they, like... Thanks. <sighs> I mean, right. nowadays it's very That's different, but, like, in... It, in so the like pretty. mummification process, embalming is where they would, like, take when out all the organs I've and actually been drain the blood and... My review is tomorrow. I'll admit I don't know enough about it now to really say much. Oh, no. JP says it's giving early 2000s Avril. Yes. All right. Riverfield Mortuary. Do you guys know I used to work at a haunted house and I played the um, the people who who welcomed you into the mortuary and my thing i was always like welcome right. that was how i started <laughs> jordan says the older lady is about to crawl around uh okay. these walls in the diner at legion oh, oh no. shit <gasps> who's that i don't know girl uh, -uh. 
it has crosses on it, but I don't, I don't, I feel like it's not gonna protect us. Let's see what's over here. Okay. Oh, empty drawer. See, when I do play games, I'm one of those people who like I want to explore everything. I don't. Oh even... yeah, you're gonna learn today about Cody's exploring. All right. Let's see. We got a calculator. <gasps> it floats. It floats. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Nothing over here. Anything at the entrance? Just some coffee. Okay. Mr. Delver's business cards. Riverfields Mortuary, established in 1970. Okay. What's that? Can, no, no, not that. The other thing. This is probably it almost looks like candy. Well, oh, candy strips, ribbons, and bacon, something. Oh, okay. I see what I'm supposed to do. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my Hold desk. Hold on. I want to. I want to play the roles okay, here. Okay. Okay. You play I'm the sorry. game. I play the roles. <clears throat> Rebecca, what? <laughs> Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. Oh, and P.S. Good luck. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Do I need to grab the pencil? Okay. Use the sign. E. Cool. Oh. Okay, quick inventory, access quick inventory, and choose the item you wish to use. Most, but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Okay. All right. Cody's also much better at following instructions. Okay. Yasi wrestling. Rebecca! <laughs> all right. Someone said happy birthday, Cody. Oh, thank you. Clink. Phoenix Rising, if you guys haven't played Detroit. Oh, we got, we're going to back up. What's in here? <laughs> we ain't ready yet. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, we're not going. We're not going. Okay. All right. Uh, Phoenix Rising says, if you guys haven't played Detroit, become human. You'd love it. Not horror, but this should be. Fuck. Why would she? Why would they make reflections? Um, not horror, but decision based suspense with a futuristic appeal. Uh, that sounds awesome. Okay. I would love to play that. We got backyard. We got a front yard. Rebecca. <gasps> Great. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel <sighs> him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Oh, there's a fucking actual human. Okay. I was like, God? Oh, I got to walk backwards with the gurney? Oh, no. Hold on. Um, Seema B says... Screen, baby. She did not say that. Simba B, welcome. Super chat. Thank you so much for the for the uh, super chat. Happy birthday, Cody. And thank you both for the hours and hours of entertainment. We thank you so much and we love you, Rick. Thank you. Yes. Drink. There is a body. There's a body on the, on the thing. I don't like that I got back up. Whoa. Cold storage. To bring the body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name. Pull up. Okay. All right. You read faster than I do. <laughs> All right. Relena says, happy B-Day, Cody. Thank you. We're going to have stuff. Tummy aches. <laughs> uh, Jordan Libby says, I have to leave for work soon. Almost 8 a.m. Pierre. Um, will this stream be kept on the channel? It will be. It will be on the channel. Happy birthday, Cody. Okay. Is that such a valor? The read, uh, girl. How do we turn? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. I think I'm slowly turning with the mouse. We might have like a, a janky ass <laughs> mouse. It's okay. This makes it more fun. We're getting. We're getting. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. We're gonna put it into this little thing. 
get the body in there, baby. Okay. Come on. <laughs> How do I do this? It says, yeah, left mouse button into here. That's not working. Hmm. Oh, maybe we slide it. Nope. Maybe we slide it in. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, maybe we haven't like turned it up enough. Of Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> We're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> All right. It says shoves shoves the porps in whole row <laughs> clears like Tetris. <laughs> All right. Now why is this not working? You have to raise the gurney. How do I raise the gurney? It says E. Yeah, use gurney. But E is just selecting it or not selecting it. Maybe you have to be by the side? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Phoenix Rising. Okay, I might have to mix a drink with y'all. Yo. There's a thingy in the cold storage. What's oh, in the cold storage? I mean, this is a incinerator. What's that? No, that doesn't look like it. It'll do something. We stuck y'all. We stuck y'all. Okay. Come on. Okay, someone says pull it out of the cool storage. Okay. <gasps> ah. I'm We're done. doing great. I quit. We're doing great, I folks. quit. I quit. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Okay. Dude, that's embarrassing. All right. Cool. Cool. Andrea M says most people struggle with the tur with the turning. Okay, good, good. Glad it's not just me. Yeah, because we were like, oh no, oh no. Okay. Oh, we're pulling out another dead bot. Yeah. Okay. Girl, I have to give it up to people who do this job. I could never. I could. I could never. What do you think it smells like? Uh, that's an excellent question. Well, I'm, this is making me real nervous. A bear paw says, happy birthday, Cody. Thank you. Okay, here we go, moving the body. <laughs> Returning the gurney and going back. Turning out the body. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. Oh. All right. Yay! We did it! <laughs> All right, I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? Okay. I'll get out of your way when you're done. The clipboard you used for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large item. Okay. JQ says, have you guys seen that early 2000s horror movie, Stay Alive, about the video game that kills you when you play it? Horror movie now, but that was once my favorite as a kid. I did. I Once I heard the concept of a video game horror movie, I was on it. It wasn't as good. Yeah, it's a horror movie now, but at the time, I was all about it. What? Which movie is this? Uh, Stay Alive. Oh, I don't think I played that or watched it. Okay. Raina says Sergio has some awful, oh, some vo voice chords. Sorry, I almost said awful, which is true. Can be true. Okay. Formal hide. Fun fact: the scent makes humans hungry. I remember always leaving Anatomy Lab starving. Huh? I didn't. Know I didn't know that. Thing. I don't recall formaldehyde ever making me feel hungry. All right, I have just recorded. Okay, we recorded the deletion. Okay, we move the body. Okay, nothing back here. Didn't seem like it. Okay. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Yo, shut the hell up. We're tr you can't just be fucking deep voicing me. We're trying to do something. Wait, okay. what about the nails? You think the nails are something? No, I think those are just nails. Okay. All right, not really sure what window was. Nothing. 
Joe says happy birthday, Cody. Thank happy you. Birthday. You have to you have to drink. Hmm. All right. I think I'm done. Okay, so what is that? Her a uh, hemangioma. Left arm mole. Name is Dorothy Page, age 87. All right. Am I done? I need to look at that. I need to look at her face, I think. Oh. Hi. I don't like how quiet it is. <laughs> hey, Bear Paul, how old are you turning, Cody? He's turning 31. Mm -hmm. 31. Steve G Garner says, yay, I made it. Happy birthday. Welcome, Steve. Welcome to the to the live. Ask any questions you guys like. I get everything. This is the first time we're playing this game. Yes, we have never played it. So please be patient with us as we try to figure out what the fuck is going on. Okay. show up back here what you looking at huh it seems like you're hardly working what were the next steps katrina ruggiero says happy birthday cody thank you did i not record something Ashley Summer says, my friend was a funeral director and bomber. She said the smells were the second worst part. I'm telling you, again, credit to, you know, this job profession. You know, it, you, you guys are doing it. It's a different skin tone, but I mean, it doesn't tell you to, like, look at it, right? Nope. I'm trying to see if if the little. Oh, wait. Oh, scratch oh, marks. Oh, shit. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Wait, look at the look at the Don't paper. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Mild abrasion. Scratch right. marks. Okay. Completely missed what he said. Put it in the computer. Beach says, uh, do you welcome help or no backseat gaming? Um, oh, we welcome help. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I didn't say anything. <gasps> you all right? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Girl. We, we're not entirely sure if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but Beach, uh, we welcome help. Please, by all means, help out. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sabine, no! <laughs> Our 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 robot that's on this uh, actually <laughs> deleted the message. Wait, let me see if we can put it back. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh my god. But welcome. Oh my god. Okay, Z Zavid said, "Happy birthday to the baddest beach." Hope you're feeling sexy, boo. Thank oh. you. Why is that bad, girl? Sorry, Zavid. Sorry, David. I I that should have gone through. Although, actually, <laughs> retro streamlabs got Sabine. Oh my god, <laughs> girl! There was a there was a person in my class yeah. in high school, like whose last name was Bish B I C H. Oh, and, and everyone called her Beach. No, well, it was a guy. But Beach. watching, watching substitute teachers struggle internally with how to pronounce his last name was very funny. <laughs> Bro, god, streamlabs is stupid, girl. I don't know why that happened. Uh, I'll probably have to release that. But we got your message, David. We love you. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, we got to do some. Yeah, we got to, like, work. We got to work. Jesus Christ. Okay, and then I got to take the printout. The fuck is this? I'm assuming that that's just telling me where to go, but. Yeah. Embalming report, a packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are, uh, are available if requested. Large item.
Oh, he's teaching us what to do, and then he's gonna go away, and we gotta keep doing it all night, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you know, no. What are you talking? He he wants to leave at five. He's like five p.m. I'm out of here, bitch. It's time to you, bomb. You do it. Oh no. All right. I've said everything out, so you can just go ahead and get started. All right, Bob. Monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. PVC tubing. Okay, cool. I gotta check the inventory. Inventory. What do we got? Locked items are held in my hands. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta like. I can't hold anything else. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god can't hold anything else okay never mind girl legit is telling us like yo what the fuck are you guys doing i c can't hold anything else i can't hold anything else okay i'm glad she's like all right cool 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 Okay. <laughs> Girl, I dropped it through my the legs. Cl the clipboard isn't in our legs. <laughs> Sp spooky ooky, bitch. And uh, Franco Goddess says Cody is like grab all the things. Yes, I am. All right. Cody is not known to like be like, hey, I'm not gonna live by myself. No, no, I'm not. All right. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, no, I'm going to keep that Sneak closed. out. Sneak out. Bitch, we're out of here. I'm going to keep that closed. All right. Ah. Uh, Tammy Dane. LOL. Look at these gamers. <laughs> 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 oh, we're so we're so good, aren't we, guys? Okay. Now what? The clipboard tells you what to do. Go pick up the clipboard. Does it? Well, we can't just leave it on the floor. All right. Drop the PVC tubing. Okay, E. Okay. Wire shut with needle injector and setting needles. Okay. Need work. Why are the jaws shut? Oh, set in the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Uh, oh, no, I feel that. Listen, I got sensitive gums. Wait, what? Now, I did check because I saw the name and I was like, they, YouTube let other people put this up on on their channel. So I'm only assuming we're good, I YouTube. I can't use that here. Uh, excuse me. Okay. <gasps> oh. Do I need to just keep doing this? Oh, okay. I guess okay, I Okay, we're going a little bit at a time. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Drop the beat now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not anymore. Got it. There we go. Cool. <laughs> cool. Love it. Doing great. <laughs> awesome. <gasps> what are we doing to our forehead? We're putting the eye caps in. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We're good. We can start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We can start tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, I got a mix. 
Mix embalming fluid and pump. Glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, and formaldehyde. All right, got it. Sounds sexy. Got it. Let me let me just go do that. Yes. Oh, okay. I can't hold anything else. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to hold one more thing? <laughs> Wait, did, that was was that you Sometimes or was that us? Chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. Just okay. keep doing your thing, honey. Do your thing, honey. Ain't no other way. One thing about me, I'll never know where it's the songs. You got stole, you got sass. You got some, you fat ass. What? I'm pretty sure the lyrics are, you got soul, you got class, you got style, style. you're badass. Badass. I thought she had a fat ass. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yo, we're so messy. We literally have everything on the ground. All right. So make an incision in the... In the carotid artery. Artery. artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Okay, where's the carotid artery? Should we know that? Is there like a little like thing that shows us what that is? Oh, isn't that that artery that like? I think it's in the leg. That happened in Yellow Jackets where Shauna used the knife. I think so. Okay. Okay. Jordan Wagner says, what's the scariest game you've played? I, I have to say Outlast. So far has been pretty <gasps> terrifying. Oh. Okay. Doing good. There's some Grey's Anatomy shit. Grey's Anatomy is surprisingly gory sometimes. Where's the carotid artery? I think it was in the neck. We are, um, we, uh, to answer your question, Rochelle, we are playing most of it now, and we're going to end the stream with Outlast, just to continue that, you know? So we get, give you a little spice of, of different things tonight. Okay. At this point, I will have done one body. Okay. <gasps> oh, jeez. Okay, what next? Engage pump and let the body drain. All right. Oh. She says, ooh. Ooey gooey goodness. All, All right. right. And now we wait. Are y'all replaying out last? No, we are going to start where we ended up, which actually we forgot where we were. Yep. So. We never said we'd be um, organized streamers. <laughs> okay. <gasps> what? Yo, G Gryffindor 144. Is that Savid's body double? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. The shade. Feeling empty. This girl uh, kind of reminds me of uh, the girl from, well, the monster from Wreck or Quarantine, whichever you've seen. Feeling, uh, oh no. Oh. Ew. That sound literally, ew. It sounds like it's coming out of my mouth. I, I, I have no sick. words. The squirreling, whirling. <laughs> Sorry, bad ASMR for those who hate ASMR. Mix cleaners and bathroom closets to create tank cleaner. Do you think this will be a good ASMR? 
context? Mm-mm. Like instead of a horror like game, it just goes, okay, now let's empty out the blood. She can't hold. She can't hold anything else. Yes, you can. I'm gonna say that to you in real life from now on when you're asking me to pick up stuff. I can't hold anything else. <sighs> Please. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Do we like grab a tub? Put it I in? Know. I do not know. <gasps> Did you mm-hmm. fucking see that? What? Was that something? What? Is it just me? I just heard the. <sighs> something. Th- there was like a fucking dark figure. Nope. Didn't see it. I miss. Guys, you're gonna love this. Okay. This stream is just gonna be me. Lauren not how says to play the you game. already have it. What? But it's not. Oh, wait, no. Jalen says we dropped it. Oh, great. Awesome. Okay. Wait, what is it? Tank cleaner. Okay. Totally dropped it. Now, I'm gonna say this disclaimer one more time because we said it earlier in the stream. Um, we're not gamers. So. No, no, no. <laughs> but we like to have fun. So here we are. We like playing games. Okay, cleaning out the embalming pump. Awesome. It's just not done, right? Um, my mommy says, happy birthday. Ah, thank which you. your, which your username sounds like what I would say to my mom, me mommy. Oh yes, girl. Moisturizing. <gasps> what the fuck? Tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh-uh, this, this game is playing games with us. Uh, are you sure? I, I just got here. Don't worry. He knows You're something. He ain't shit. He ain't I'll shit. I'll the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first I show. don't trust you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Run. Wait, wait, are we under, are we alone now? I think we're alone now. Doesn't it's seem to be anybody I'll around. Get, someone in. get it? Body? Body? Yeah. Wait, are we going? Are we leaving? No, you're trying to leave. I'm trying to leave. Girl, come on. We got a lot of game to go. Don't be judgy. So do I got to punch my card or? What did he say to do? Uh, he just said leave and then he call me when. Yeah, we just go, we bounce. Cool. You know what this reminded me of? That game where you got to make the coffee. Oh, that was good. Mm-hmm. But we weren't patient enough to, to play the whole thing. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, so I stuff know. did fall over. He sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he Is that the margarita? No. Okay. Yeah. Show the show the folks at home what That's you're having. I'm having a cider. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just no, no. Uh, 
actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, this doesn't yeah. sound like him. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> He's got serial killer vibes. Oh, yeah. Who answers a phone with, Hi, Rebecca. We're all set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Rako says happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. This is me talking to, to you go. about my anxiety, right being like, I think, I think my boss hates me. <laughs> uh, where are my keys? See, I, I don't know how I would feel if my boss called me and was like, hi, Rebecca, yeah. you didn't do oh, anything please. bad, but I'm not feeling myself. Come to our thing. All right, keys. We just got a book that says Embalm. Embalm, a book about the history of preservation and how people use it to cope with death. All right. Oh, we, we, we actually have the book? Yep, we own okay, the book. Okay, cool. So we go? We, we gone? Bye, home, that we hopefully will see again. Um, Freckled Goddess, I'm curious, will you save the stream on the channel? Yes, we will be saving the stream on the channel for those who, who want to watch. All right, rain. Rain, rain, go away. I'm going to leave my car door wide open. Let's go. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Fine. Uh, Maldo2022, you also use Twitch or Kick. Uh, we, we used to go on Twitch, uh, but now we're going to the main channel here. Okay, can I lock the door? Nope, it just opens. Awesome. Adam Coleman, this is the mortuary's assistant. All the doors are shut. Don't <gasps> like it. Okay, good. Don't like it. In our house, the doors are open and the lights are on at all times. Yeah, who cares about electricity bills? No, I'm kidding. No. We're very, very self-conscious about that. Okay. I know these are going to go off. I just know it. Jordan Wagger, there's a new uh, Jason video game coming out? I thought it was, like, ending. I thought the Friday the 13th one was ending. Hold on. Hold on. Answer the phone. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. <gasps> try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. Is that a person? What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. <gasps> the oh! right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. You bitch! Bound to you. I like that song. Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Girl, then? this looks like a garbage bag, like a garbage bag person. Shoe box that says Rebecca on it. Normal day. Stay focused will help. I left some things walking in the desk. Oh. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. It is insane, girl. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along. I can't hold anymore. <laughs> I can't actually interact with him. Okay, at least not now. Oh no. Matchbox, a matchbox, one left. Mayor Bear says, you sleep with the doors open. Oh no, no, that is the one door that we do lock. Yeah, we do, well and the front door obviously. Front door's not wide open, can you imagine? I'm not fucking quitting tomorrow. Somebody who does something like 
bed. It's locked. I don't know about you, but she's very much like, I hate that they did this prank. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. <laughs> if this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope Hell. you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. This guy literally was like, bitch, I'm leaving. I'm I'm not gonna call you anymore. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. Tall Asian chick. Rebecca's low-key annoying, and she is. She's like, who would do this to me? I hate this. A small cassette tape labeled night shift. Okay. And is that it? Yeah, this guy legit is kind of rude to not inform us of this. Are you sure? I kind of want to take a, take a closer look at this. I oh, think this is where we select the thing for the demon's names. Okay, cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> the Book of Typhon Conversi Conversions. Six Typhon walked among his disciples, and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all are assigned to the halls of hell. Seven abandoned gods as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are mocked for the houses of hell as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. Eight. And as he passed, Oniron <laughs> looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Nine, Typhon looked over onto Oniron and said, pray as you wish. Fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Ten. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation and the ashes of man, for it burns eternal in sinful fire. Quick chat check. Apparently, this has multiple endings. What? So. Oh, shit. We got to play it right then. <laughs> and I got a happy birthday from Walter White himself. Holy. Yeah. Can you cheers me, please? Sorry. What? <laughs> Back into it. Eleven. Typhon. <laughs> oh my god. You good? Typhon held the charred remains of Derod. The, the rod. Okay. And walked among <laughs> his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh, setting the reeds in his hand ablaze. 
He said to Onron, see now that all are marked on the glory of Satan. Twelve, Onron beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed, and from it he saw a mark burned into the deep of his flesh, one for three for the houses of hell, for we are all I'm getting worked up, but I'm destined to serve his higher purpose. 13, and Typhon extended the ashes of Derod to the hands of Aneron and said, bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite the sin and accept the truth to God. Anyways, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. How do we play these cassette tapes? To vanish into like that. hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. Okay. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside it will force the demon to become bound to it pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly they can be obvious or extremely subtle once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel burn it finally the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips it must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world Okay. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. What? When the paper is bust, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They Already? Be so look on walls, under Put it away, put it away. Rebecca, literally get be realistic. She's not even scared one bit. <laughs> so scary. Okay. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. I, this guy is too calm for me. Whatever. Just, also, whatever. I love that he's like, some strange things start. are going to happen, but he's like not specific whatever. at all as to what the strange things are going to be. Wait, is that bad? I thought he said when it starts to when it starts to smoke you're close when you're when it's on fire then it's <gasps> Is that our shadow? Oh no, it's right here. It's like L with a dot. Okay. I just put it on now before I forget. L with a dot. Okay. Okay. Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take another letting strip. 
I kind of want to just keep using them until. Well, okay. Let's not use all of the these things. Why not? I gotta find the. I gotta find the demon. Demon. Let me out. <laughs> All right, turn it turn it on. Turn what on? The the strip. It's on. Oh, so it just lights up automatically. Yeah. Got it. Oh no. Okay. So far so good. Nobody. Okay, moving along. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. Walter, what are you doing in here? I was about to make an inappropriate comment and I'm I'm just not gonna say it. <laughs> so do I have to embalm all the bodies? I mean he did say embalm. Oh no. Oh, it says, um, it, I think it happens as the game progresses. Time to embalm the notepad from the desk. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. At least I can keep track of things. Girl, <laughs> Rebecca is not having it. She's like, I guess I'll do my job, I, I guess. Can't, I like, I don't get it. What do you mean? No, I don't get why she's so like... Ugh, this is so annoying. I know. I would be. I would have a little urgency. But let's go to the bodies. Okay. No, no, no. The notepad from the desk. I got it. Wait, wait. There's a. Doing something wrong. I thought we were supposed to be able to. There's a sticky note on the desk. So it is there? Yeah. Paper and pen, because we scribble. Ah. You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. Oh, I feel like we just fucked ourselves. <laughs> okay, cool. They just they just uh cut the power. They cut the telephone line. Not nothing to worry about. We're just gonna involve some bodies. We're gonna do our job. All right, time to bomb. They better get paid big bucks for this. Crummy old building. Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Here we go, moving the gurney, the gurney, moving. Moving the girls in my girly, girly, move on. All right, let's go. Did we not place it correctly? Uh, okay. I think we got to place it right. Probably. Oh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Nope. There we go. Uh, Faith says if you go back and forth while turning, it may go better. So maybe like. Oh, look at his face. That's so <gasps> creepy. <laughs> I didn't even see that. No. <laughs> He's smiling. <laughs> oh, bitch. I cannot wait to sew your mouth shut, good All right, sir. Let's check you out. Okay. All right. So the fluids I'm only supposed to put in to bind the demon to the body, right? So yes, it has to be the three bodies because you need to find the correct science that will tell you which has the demon. Although sometimes it can be pretty obvious.
notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. To banish a demon to hell, it must be found. The night shift database, a computer program combining all my findings. B says now each body gets regen from the closet, closest one body gets the final one. So, my ID card is in my personal well, let's look at our notepad. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Where is his thing of belongings? I never found his ID card. I need it. No, that's where that's we're, not, we're not going there. It's not it. The stapler. Matchbox. You want to go on a computer? See, but that's the thing. Forget it. I can't. Forget it. Place with belongings. Where would it be? Because he said personal belongings in the back room. Retro says it's at the other area in the other, in the room. It's at the other area in the room. Is it right here? These are my personal belongings. Ah. <gasps> Raymond, I really need a key to this catch outside. Cleaner's low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. Okay, we got a work badge. Re Rebecca? Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive. I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. Zoe, P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Zoe 101. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mr. Dover's work ba badge for body pickup at local hospital is full access. Cool. What about the keys? Keys, which are actually doing much work. Okay, cool. Wait, but it said it was on the back of his badge. Well, that's what. What? What is? What is? Why can't I take this? No, but what are you looking for? He said that the thing is on the back of his badge, right? The passcode for the computer. Well, maybe the numbers that he's giving us, like his address or. Hmm. You should look up more to find more clues. We can't even like press anything. Y'all, I'm bad at this. I'm sorry. It says you can turn it. How do we turn it? Uh, <gasps> doing good. <laughs> well, doing why great. are we like this? Ooh. Why? Jacob Young, hey y'all, happy birthday, Cody. I'm very oh, late, you. but I'm glad I could still catch the stream. Thank you so much. Well, why am I saying it? it's your birthday? <laughs> All right, do I need to write this down somewhere? 37079. 37079. 37079. Do we type it in, in the what? keyboard? Wait, what'd you say? It says also move around all the papers you see in the drawers. Whatever. Why can't I enter it? Let's just grab a body. Forget it. I think she just wants us to embalm people. I don't want to. I just want to find all the clues. The, let's do the embalming. Okay. Scribble, scribbles, scribble, scribble. I love the mortuary assistant. Y'all are in for some skills. <laughs> All right. Okay. Zessa says, happy birthday, Cody. <gasps> Hello? Ah! <laughs> New 
job. I'm getting out of here. Rebecca, we're out. We're out. We're out. Doors open. Doors always open. Windows closed. Uh, uh, that's a face only a mother could love. Oh, okay. You got that? I like how she said new job. All right, let's keep embalming. <laughs> Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Okay, cool. So stupid. Oh, got that already? Okay. Ooh, it's funky. Clap, clap, clap your hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, scribble, scribble. Okay, wait, let me know who he is. Gene Meza, age 53. Cool. Head, mole, and creepy smile. Ah. ah, three, seven, seven, nine. Okay. Okay. Path to management. Embalm each body with the special reagent from the cabinet. Use letting strips to attempt to reveal demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's name within the night shift database. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Pay attention to each body for demonic activity. Note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary. Oh. Place a mark on the body believed to have demonic tendency and burn that body. I feel like burning the body is going to be crazy. Oh, there's so much to read. Oh, God. Athenian text and language. Athenian is a long dead language recorded to be lost in the burning of the library of Alexandria. Only half of religious scraps had knowledge of Athenian texts. After the fires, what little was known was recorded intended to be kept safe. Known as the Ethereal language, it was based on to be the fool of angels to communicate with man. Few have been allowed access to the remaining documents. Ethan and Athenian demonic. Athen Ethan? Ethan? Go down. Some words simply do not have an Athenian pronouncing it so wrong equivalent which is signified by na um okay clarissa says happy birthday cody thank yes thank you so much clarissa on behalf girl i thought he said pussy they will have pussy okay I'm gonna have to like do some homework for this shit. Okay. <laughs> Relina eight of four. Yep, there's a lot of info. I mean there's a lot of lore, which I really like actually. I appreciate that they took some time into providing any everything. Jesus. Oh, so we, should we drain everything and do all those stuff? I feel like as I'm spending time reading all this stuff, I'm like slowly just going into possession. The woman in white. <laughs> the shadow man. Oh, the shadow man. I don't fuck with that. Oh my god, that's I would I would be freaked out. The mimic? Cause it's in the Oh girl. Two queens stand before me. The <laughs> Shadow Man and Mimic. It's time to slip sync for your life. This is your last chance. To impress to me, to haunt us. And save yourself. Joshua says a lot of info, so I just skimmed it, but lots of good info sprinkled throughout. We can okay. like appreciate it later on. All right. Let's keep going. Let's just skim it. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it's occupying may form markings not previously observed. Wait, there's a video. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. Shantae, they both say. Now, but at least 
<gasps> there it is. Fuck. All right. Fuck. Okay, so Jacob says there should be a notepad in your inventory. If you ch click on it, on the character scribbles on it, and it can help you check your sanity. Okay, we'll do that after we do our job. <laughs> a lot of this is just paperwork. Yep. Oh, is this number three? Does that mean I missed something? There might have been something we missed. Once our findings has been entered, in, yeah, something. We always tend to miss something. Okay. At the oh, there's something. Or is that just? You think that's bruising? Let's oh. go. Okay, tippy toe to the other side. Oh, check the hands. <gasps> oh shit, we're dumbasses. Okay, let's tippy toe to the other hand. Nipple. We got that already. You check the hand on him. Yep. There we go. We're there. Okay. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for helping us out. <laughs> we're, we're, we're on our way. We're, we're in this together. We're trying. We really are. Jalen says, imagine nothing happened and he just secretly has his foot finish. <laughs> we just really want to look at your feet, girl. file the copy up front. Embalming report, packet of else. mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the, of the deceased. Okay. Where do we put that? I forgot. Yeah, put it up front. I paid attention to the orientation. All right. Tuttle the Pod says goo. Goo right back at you, Tuttle the Pod. Yes, Check welcome. Them out. We love them. Time to embark. Beach, you're killing it. Little side help. I love this guy. Good. Thank you so much, Beach. Okay. It's all good, guys. We're here for this. Take your time. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much, Phoenix Rising. Is that the... Okay, the fact that it's so see. dark in this, like, in this room is freaking me out. Okay. I would need to like put on a podcast or like a YouTube video or something. Okay. Did we forget already had the steps on what to do? <laughs> well, the thing that I'm confused about is like before it was all laid out here. But now we actually have to go into the cabinets and find it. Okay. Bleaching agent. Tissue builder. Okay. Formaldehyde. Oh, no, I gotta drop it. Drop! Okay, how we doing? Why are jaws shut? Quality guide to you. Hello? I'm missing something. Jesus? <laughs> What are we missing to stitch his things? Oh. No. Yep. Yeah, I get all this stuff. Oh, okay, okay. I hear it. Nope. Not paying attention. Let's take that smile off your face. Hit. Hit it. 
Hit it. <laughs> Goodbye. There we go. Great. Yeah, don't we need to, like, eye cap it? Eyes wide shut. All right. Close your eyes. <sighs> Every now and then, I get a little bit lonely. You're never coming around. Oh it God. doesn't know. It, it, I, How does it go into it? Hold it doesn't, on. It doesn't matter, because I already messed it up. Oh, okay. Okay. We got our formaldehyde. Fancy involving fluid because I dropped it over here. <laughs> We're just dropping shit everywhere. Yep. Okay. Uh, Duzari says, check your burning paper. Oh, good idea. Okay, nothing yet. Mm, glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant. humectant. That's one of the things I needed. <gasps> you fucking don't move. <gasps> oh! Bitch. What the fuck? Wait, but this is totally then the demonic body, right? Can I just like burn it and be done? Unless the demon, is it? I thought it said when it makes marks, it's the demonic body. Oh, but I still gotta learn its name and shit. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was this? Wait, let's use. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Are we fucking going crazy? Let's use the paper. Let's, let's let's try the paper again. <gasps> Turn back. <laughs> nope. Okay. 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 We used it. We're good. Sherelle Watkins says, "Happy birthday, Cody." Thank you. Nope. Do it again. Do it again. We're not doing that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Glued around to hide. Where's the glued around to hide? Glued around to hide. Talking about that glued around to hide. Oh, we already did that. Okay. We already did Is that. it in any of the cabinets? I don't think so. Where is it? Where is it? Y'all know where the glue mer mer glue merida hide? Merida hide. <laughs> merida, I can't even pronounce it. What is that? <gasps> this is some shit I'm gonna need later. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a, a thing. <laughs> oh, there's the tubing. All right. So we just need the fluoratomahide. Yes, we need the fluoratomahide. Is that in the other room? No, it should be in here. Fluoratomahide! No, that's formaldehyde. Fuck. We need glutaraldehyde. It's cavity fluid. Where's this? What am I missing? I know there are some people just sitting at home screaming at me. I know. Being like it's right there, Cody. Ah. There it was. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, forgot about that. We need the artery forceps. Where's the tubing? Gotta go get some tubing. That's a moisturizing wipe. Too big. It says it's down here. Okay. I didn't take it. Love this. What? Love this. I just did a stupid. Okay. Take. Did we take it? Yes. We died. Michelle says, we were all newbies once. Take your time and enjoy the ride. At face, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> ignoring. Actively ignoring. There's someone actively breaking into. Should we try this, the, the paper again? We're good. Go into the reception. I said go to the reception. Oh, bitch. <gasps> No, no, no! Okay, we're brave, we're strong. It's a fucking light switch. Nope, that's not it. No. Where's the light switch? I don't know why they turned off. It's on the side there, though. <sighs> Turn the paper on. <gasps> run away. No! Run away! No! Run we away! can't just run away! We need to go back! Run away. Run away. No, we have to go back. We have to go back. Keep the paper up, though. Keep the paper up. Can I go around the back? No. What are you doing? You're trying to get us killed. All right. Where's the pen and paper in the inventory? Ah. Okay. What does that mean? Are we saying? Scribbling. Okay. Oh, does that mean like, okay, we're good. I'm assuming. Okay, what we got? Turn off pump, remove, remove tubes, close incision. Oh, we just left them, left them there like that. Okay, what else? Fill. Fill empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Do I have a reservoir bag? I do not. Open that. I don't think it was down there anyway. I think we should put the thing back up now. Ah! Come on! I'm trying! Move it up and down. Maybe up and down. No, I don't think that that's how it does. Okay. All right, where were the bags? Everyone keeps saying in the reception. Go back to the reception. Go in the bathroom. We haven't been in the bathroom. Okay, we still look like ourselves. Do the paper in the reception. What? But look up sometimes. Oh, how high up can we go? Way up on the ceiling. Okay. Okay, we're good.
Okay. They said around the desk as well. Okay, but I still need to finish embalming the body. All right, let's 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 finish embalming the body, and then we'll go back. Where's the bags? I like that I can open doors through doors. <laughs> Love it. Uh. Uh. Okay, we need to look in the other side. Ah, we did it, guys. We did it. Okay. Are we gonna fix those markings? Like, nope. should we fix those? No, we're gonna leave it as is. Okay. This doesn't sound nice. There we go. Okay. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to make. Put up the cleaner. put the, put up the incense. <gasps> Nineteen seventy, the year of arrival of the House of Death, the birth of its creator. Full number shall be six. Phew, put away. Oh, I thought uh, you're, you're you're turning it around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jesus, girl, she just came out of nowhere. Front door. Front door around the desk. Bitch. Uh, who closed I our said, door? I said door open. <sighs> Nobody ever listens. Water. Yes. Cool. Moisturizer. Moisturize me. Moisturize me. What's that from? Not, uh, I don't know. It's from Doctor Who. Oh. It's the the woman with the the face with the skin. Remember Ugh. that you thought she was fierce, even though she's a villain. All right. Okay, put up the. Uh, that's it. Return it to the. Okay. All right. One body done. We did it. We, we did it. one body. Back it up. Cool. Turn cool. it around. Cool. cool. So we're on our way to put the body back into the gurns. Almost there. Good night. Next body. 
All right. I think should we pause it here? And oh yeah, we can pause it here and go to, go to Outlast. Outlast. Finish it. All right, guys. We are going to. We just involved the first body. We're going to pause it here for Mortuary's assistant, and we're going to end for the next maybe thirty minutes with Outlast. Yeah. All right. But we're going to take a quick break. Uh, just to grab ourselves a refill, refill your drink, and we'll be back with more chilling. So we'll be with Outlast when we come back. All right. Oh, and probably we'll probably continue for next Sunday. Oh yeah, of course. Assistance. We're still on our way. I Go. just want to see his face. What's up, he bitch? looks the same. Oh, he's a he's got the V. He's a little more muscular. At least he's not smiling. That's true. All right. All right. We'll be. We uh, shall return. Oh, give me. I'm just gonna... We will be right back. Thank you. 
All right, we are back. Uh, so, complete honestly, Mortuary Assistant took us a little longer than expected, um, but we are gonna go right into Outlast mm -hmm. uh, for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then we're gonna call it for the stream. We'll chat with you guys for the last like five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna end it for tonight. Hopefully we helped with your Sunday scaries tonight, but let's get into Outlast. If you haven't played it, we've already like been in the world of Outlast mm -hmm. and it was fucking terrifying, mm -hmm. um, but here we go. How's everyone with like the, the background, like the game uh, volume? Should I turn it up a little bit? Let us know. Call it says a little bit louder. Okay, you got it. Ugh. I don't want to be too loud. All right. Perf, they said. Oh. Oops. Is that good? 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Now, Cody needs to get back I into the, to the mode of things. <laughs> you know what we should have done is showed you the... um. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Hold up. 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 <laughs> okay. That's not fair, game. <laughs> Woo! That is not fair. All right. Let's go to the controls, please. Controls. Review it. Okay. All right. Cody is much better, guys, at this. So we're, Cody's going to play, and then I'm going to play next week. Okay. Crouch has left control. I forgot the amount of naked guys that are in this oh, yes. game. <laughs> the fact that, like, YouTube lets us do this, that's crazy. There is an old stream where there was some zooming there in. Were, there were some uh, some swinging meats. Do you remember? Okay, night vision is F. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we were going to die immediately. Like, what, what did they expect? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Press pause. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we're, we're too much of a mess. Hold up. Okay. What am I, what's going on? Uh, I'll take it. Hold on. Okay, Joshua says more dong it, please. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. How are we gonna escape this? Hold on. Well, I gotta, I gotta get my bearings. You gotta remember, I have no clue where, <laughs> where we are. Okay. 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 Where am I trying to go? Oh, I, yeah. I think we need to just re-explore everything. I remember this place. Wait, yes. Okay. Go press command. Yeah, I'm trying to follow the blood. How do I? What are you trying to do? What's the pause again? Escape. Okay. I thought there was like a way to. Hide in things. You can, but in in lockers. Okay. Watch out for battery life. I remember that. Yeah, but I remember they gave us like batteries along the way. Okay. Okay. 
of all the arrows. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. We kept dying, remember? Okay. We're just gonna chill under this bed, guys. Should we jump? Get out that door. Wait, the battery life is ending. Yep. Do we have another battery? Can we like reload? We can. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to use the door. I don't know where to go. I know. Okay. Oh, we slide, right? Let's take it slow. Let's take it. Slow. Yeah. Come on. Uh, let me hold on. Give me one second. Okay. Let me take a look at the, the settings for you guys. Sorry about that. Retro Briscoe says, I've never watched any gameplay for this game, so this is a first. How are you liking it so far? We are trying to take a look at the graphics because we're seeing that it might be a little laggy. Yeah. Outlast games are so good. Yeah, they are. I mean, this is really intense. We played a little bit of Outlast 2 a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but really only like the first 15 minutes. And then we got into this. All right, we're gonna try it again. Hopefully it's a little less laggy. All right, well, we will keep an eye. Yeah, it, it also just may, may be like our internet being stupid. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, guys. All right. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think it might be like it's on our side too. Okay. Oh god.
Damn it. Hold on, let me try one more thing. Okay. Because it's like lacking our iron end too, for some reason. Was good. You talk it says how many happy birthdays do we have to say for a shot to happen? Oh my god. <laughs> a lot because I have work tomorrow. <laughs> bourbon, bourbon. Cody Cody would be so funny. Hearing that whistleblower was really good, so I'm very excited to watch it. Or to play it rather. Mm -hmm. Shift to run. I think you can run in this game, or am I mistaken? I think you can. I think we've run be ran before. What? Can you click on controls? Uh, yeah, run. That must be what I need to do. I'm trying to see uh, what I can do to make it less laggy. Do you want to try turning off the sync? I did before. It actually, that actually ended up being worse. Okay. Uh, someone said, "Are y'all excited for those new Silent game, Silent Hill games coming soon?" I've never played a single Silent Hill game, so I have no opinion on it. But I'm sure that it's sooner or later we will be playing a Silent Hill game for uh, for this stream. So sorry if the, it is lagging a little bit on our end too. So yeah, but should it be too too bad? We'll try to work on that for next time. It's so weird to just start it now. All right. Okay. It's usually when you get to this part for some reason. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Just keep waiting for somebody to show up. Wait, I think you can, can you go further down over there? No, go, take a look back. No, I don't think so. No? Oh yeah, no, no, you can't. <laughs> ah. ah. All right, we're going to keep trying. Just trying to remember. How do I put the camera back up? Remember, we haven't played this game in forever, so we're probably going to try to figure time. out what the controls okay, are. Right mouse button. It's, it's so weird because the lag comes at this part specifically. <laughs> Right? Like that comes up and then, but then, hey. Excuse me. Joshua says, y'all got this. I believe in you. Thank you. So like, when do we want to jump? Okay. We have to practice this jump. Okay. Shift forward. Yes! Oh no! <gasps> Our fucking camera! It's it was fine. We we had low battery. But now I have no night vision. Fuck. Oh my God, no, it, no, they did not. And I'm down fingers. I need my camcorder to navigate the darkness. Does that mean I need to go down before so we, do I can we go, go down? forward? Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, I think we need to go down. But are we just are we gonna die? No, we just go down. Go down. Yeah, but I saw somebody walk into the room. I know. It's always something with this game. It's like, oh, we're good. We got somewhere. And then they're like, well. Loadings were playing Outlast, the first, the original. Do we know where we're going? Nope. Can we crawl? There is a way. It said press control. Oh, yeah. There oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why the, the, the battery beeped, even though we don't have a camcorder, but... Because I, I picked up a battery. Is this just going to be one of those things where, like, the person doesn't chase us? They're just there? Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. camcorder is it down here yeah Fuck. <gasps> is that it oh. <laughs> don't tell me we can't just grab that I know. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck, fuck. Run! Okay. See where the fuck I am. The camera's fucking just, done. Just we need to replace me. the battery. Oh. Okay. I was trying to replace the battery. Okay. We done did it. Okay, I think it saved when we got the camera. It did. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that's the way. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're, 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 we're doing good. We're doing good. Can we go in the locker? No. Oh, not that way. Not that way. I went the wrong way. Turn myself around. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ah! Let me out! Let me out! Oh. Shit! Oh. We need to jump somewhere. See, this is why I play games with maps that I can follow. Oh, okay. okay. That's the thing about this game that actually does... Uh, is he, she said jump at the door. Jump at so the Relena, door. So, Relena, sorry. Uh, uh, jump at the door. Run. Okay. I remember I had to go back this way. Okay, we go, we go, I we go. I went around this thingy. Jump at the door. We went through this room because there's the creepy people. Yes. So, there's... We went over this thing, right? No, that's not it. Wrong door. Wrong door. No, that's not it either. Okay, keep going. Just gonna keep running and jumping. Running and jumping. I don't think it's that one. Go back. Oh. I think it's that one. No oh, shit. Uh, okay. I know I'm going the wrong way. I'm aware. Okay. Just kill me. So there. Okay. I do see. So there is a window. There is a window above a door that you can like. I think you can grab. You got. You good? Yes. Okay. Pick up. Reload. Now I run. We gotta parkour it. Parkour it. Okay. Window above a door. Window above a door. Window above a door. Is it right here? No, no. that's not it. Oh, that guy disappeared. That, no, that, I think that's that one. Okay, never mind. But I, I'm jumping. I'm, I'm just okay. getting killed. Okay, okay. There's a thing there. Okay, maybe it's not, it's not the door. Ah! Beef says, I think you go up the way you camp out. In That's the what I was thinking. You climb up the lockers. Don't hate me if I'm wrong, if I ever fear, if I ever. All right. Um, okay. I hate this part because it's like, so slow. Like we get what's going to happen. Everybody, okay. Shit. Babe, you always get stuck in there. I know. I know. No. No. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I think we did it. <sighs> Beach, you got it right! I just didn't remember I jumped out on the lockers. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, thank god. Okay. 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 Yo, we get scared so easily. Yeah, look at us being such a little bitch. Okay, that's not it. 
But there's another door at the other end. Yeah, this is the room I was in. But um, the, remember, the thing fell down, so I can't. I thought there'd be a way for me to jump up. Can you? I feel like you can. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, no. Now we need this as evidence. Find Father Martin in the administration plot. Wait. Follow the blood. Oh, man. I don't think you need those. Who is that? Maybe you run. Maybe. Imagine this puts you all the way back. No, it saved. It saved before. I appreciate the good job. Thank you. What's up? What's up? Uh, only one way out. Only one way. Thank you. Are you just letting us pass? Okay. How do you know you're not a patient? How do you know you're not a patient? I know I'm not patient. Not thinking about it. Oh, fuck my life. No, 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 no. Can we hide? That's oh, right. fake. Fuck. Fuck! Go <laughs> but that was good thinking of like tricking him to go into one thing and then we can go on the other side. I'm back here. No. You just not see me? I want to try. Is he coming towards us? Well, he's walking down the hall, but if I run out of the hall, he will definitely see me. I don't like the music. The music is literally telling us this is a no-go. Try vents, doors, windows, every hole you can get into. Listen, any hole is a goal. Oh my god. Somebody. Okay, any vents? Any vents up there? Nothing. Oh. 
person. We're hiding, y'all. Is he in the room with us? I think so. Oh, God. No, he's not. Okay, we're good. We're just casually strolling along. Oh, well, can you open that door? That's what I was thinking. Oh, fuck. fuck. Fuck, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. <gasps> fuck yeah! Yes. Fuck yeah! Yes! Hey, buddy. Just oh, okay, okay. We must be close to the end of this game because our, we got a broken camera. Wait, do you want to check the thing? Okay, we can't go out that way. Okay, we need to go back and go through the body that we found up there. Yeah. The thing with this game, though, is that it's the thing that we don't have weapons. That always gets me. That we don't have any weapons to say to help us. Hey, friend. All right, guys, we're going to get to one more checkpoint and then we'll, we'll end it at the stream soon. Can we just throw the body? Interact? Yeah, we're going to throw the body. So just fucking go for it? I'd say go for it. What do we got to lose? Theater behind the lights. It's in here. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. All right, here we go. Go the wrong way. No, I mean, oh wait, you got a slide. Art Wishwood said, happy birthday, Cody. Cody. Thank you. Oh. Oh, hello. Girl, you're, you're, you're playing great. You're playing great. We love it. Give me the album. Drop the album. 
Didn't I need to go to the theater? Did I go right past the theater? I don't know, but it kind of it seems like we're, it's leading us somewhere. Well, because there was a thing that said Recreation Hall, and then I went the opposite way because I am who I am. Well, this seems like a theater. It says you need to watch the movie. Turn around. Turn around. Right. This interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, a half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? Camera. I have Get it my together. Theories. My were you using life. the camera the whole time? Not with the night light Wasting on. our battery? No. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believe. Rochelle Watts, this has been so awesome. I truly appreciate you guys sharing Cody's special days with all of us by entertaining us. Thank what you. What do you feel? I'm... I'm having so much fun just being here with all of you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Human mind that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... In proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Is that all? I gotta get up into the... The fact that there's so many lockers around scares the crap out of me. That's behind the theater. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to find a key, aren't we? I thought they said that the key was. Do you want to crawl? Yes. Uh, loadings. Have you guys played any of the Resident Evil games? We have not. Uh, well, actually, no. Resident Evil 2 we started, like, on the PS4. Uh, but we, we've never completed it. Okay. Wait, did I see a battery? Haha! <gasps> My eyes do not deceive me. <laughs> ah! Shit! Uh, bro, bro, why'd you do that? Why'd you do this? Do I need to find another way in? I don't know. But I think we should we should end it here. Okay. We've been going for four hours. That's true. Let me in. Nope. All, All right. right. Save and exit for sure. It was a good place to stop. Press X. Oh, no, it just exit. Oh, uh, mission. Can I read it? Some of the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said there is uh, the gentleman goes there. Uh, there's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre horror game. It plays like Dead by Daylight. Looks fun. Caden Torres says, uh, hey guys, happy birthday, Cody. Thank you. 
This has been so much fun spending this evening with all of you. Yes, guys. Uh, this was truly, truly something special. Uh, something that we've been wanting to do for some time um, ever since last year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pick pick it back up you still expect uh reactions from us uh to be specific we are going to be putting reactions out on you know during the weekends like mm -hmm. movie reactions tv show reactions we'll try to do them during the week and of course every sunday we will be uh on here playing video games chatting with you guys having some drinks uh probably not you know birthday drinks every week you know we're not gonna go as hard but we're definitely definitely going to chill with you guys uh cody hackman says don't know if you played it but if you want jumps alien isolation i heard alien isolation is good hmm. i heard a alien isolation is pretty pretty fucking creepy now do i want jumps no do you want scares <laughs> yeah but i know uh, y'all do <laughs> now uh yeah so guys tune in every sunday thank you so much so 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 much um for joining us today at any capacity if you stop yeah. by earlier if you stop by at the end of the stream uh we will most likely be doing this caps three hours so next week we will prioritize outlast mm -hmm. and then finish with uh more Mortuary's assistant. Mortuary assistant. Mortuary's assistant. We'll, yeah. we'll we'll switch it so that way we can play Outlast a little bit more. And thank you for the super chat, Beach. Uh, saying good times and vibes. Happy birthday, Cody. Thank you. Yes. All right, everybody, gays, ghouls, and everyone in between. We have been your source for heart analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good night.